Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back. It's CB LOL Academy Round 2 Lower Bracket. And eliminations roll on. Hello, hello. And yesterday we got Kaboom versus Kate Stars. That turned out to be rather anticlimactic. Gonna be honest, wasn't super enthused about how it ended. But on the same hand, you know, game three was pretty exciting. Uh, today, I don't know. I really don't know how to feel about this one. We've got Rise up against IDL and 4i4 thinks this one's going to be a banger, a clanger, an actual series. And I'm going to be honest, I hope so. Hello, Lunar. <laughs> what do you mean I told you 3-0? <laughs> you did tell me 3-0. I mean, I also was thinking, you know, 3-0-3-1. But I was hoping for something more, you know? Uh, Sarulu coming back and just makes Kate Stars look utterly revitalized. So, quite different. Uh... And today, okay, Lunar, you're predicting a 3-1 for Rise. Yeah, let's keep in mind the last time these two teams played, it did go 2-0 to IDL. They wiped. <laughs> Ship looks so skinny, man. Um, okay, so funnily enough, between these two teams, IDL and Rise, it kind of is still about Kate Stars. I know, it's really, really weird. We talked about Kate Stars. Yes, yesterday, Kate Stars played, but the mid laners for both these teams. You saw Takui there on screen. Uh, Link is, is the mid laner for Rise right now. And Takui was the CB LOL starter. He took a break, you know, for uh, mental health reasons. And unfortunately, Lico just kind of sniped his spot. Uh, Linkus, on the other hand, came in partway through the split because of Takui. Very indirectly, because Takui took a break, Lico got promoted. Linkus had to fill in for Leleko. So it's not exactly the successor wars, but yeah, they are still connected to Kate Stars, weirdly enough. And I'm going to be honest, Takui is too good for Academy. He is the best mid laner right now, Barnan. We're talking about how good yesterday Kisei was. Uh, yeah, Kisei can't take number one spot. Well, first of all, because Cats is also a huge competition, but because Takui exists in Academy. And yeah, I think th this ideal team has largely played through their mid lane for most of the regular season. I'm kind of also not sure what to expect from these teams because of the path that they, they had. I'm sure they're going to show, yep, perfect timing, the bracket and how we got here. Uh, and you can see where we go. Rise IDL. IDL crushed it. And what was insane about this crushing from IDL was that it wasn't just Takui popping off for a change. Like, Ayo dominated the 1v1 against Zekis. Uh, Shrimp and Takui were connecting flawlessly and just crushing the mid lane. Lair and Yuki were doing really well in the sort of 2v2 matchup as well. So, in general, it just felt like, yeah, uh, IDL popped off and did incredibly well. Fast forward to the next week, or actually, was it next week? Yeah, next week. Pain versus IDL. Pain crushed ideal there was one close game and that was game two but game one and three pain absolutely crushed it and that kind of calls into question ideal like was this an anomaly or is this just the pain effect i'm not quite sure so yeah i i can't get a good read on ideal similar thing happened with rise uh hey bren welcome welcome greetings from middle of nowhere ohio your connection is so spotty <laughs> are you using data or is that like your home connection america's so big man um rise was in a kind of similar situation they lost they got bumped down, and then they faced Loud. And Loud Academy, they Rise crushed Loud Academy. Like there wasn't even a close game in this series, so that raises questions of: Okay, did they underperform up against IDL, or did they overperform against Loud? Right? Like, th there's just such extremes coming through from these teams that I don't have a good read on how it went necessarily. Okay, but right into draft, they wasted no time. That's interesting. Um, hello, Wokes. Welcome, welcome. Ideal champ pool shallower than loud. CB Law. That's funny because I kind of agree. Like, my gut instinct is kind of true. Thinks that that's kind of true. But at the same time, they also have a very weird champ pool. So they have a very shallow meta champ pool. But I do think they have a lot of options. It's just not meta and therefore probably not optimal be honest uh, but we'll see because fearless normally that's a disadvantage the lack of champo but in fearless it actually could be an interesting thing um, because non-meta plays a role if they can get late enough into the games uh brand data moment fair that we find we do audio only <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be honest i don't know how that work how that work because if i'm not casting like a lot of times i'm just adding commentary instead of um narrating what's happening but we'll see Ren. Ho hopefully just audio works for you Okay. Trinomir Band, that's against Linkus, the Aurora, Draven. Okay. Uh, 
triple mid lane bans against Takui here. That's kind of crazy. Uh, patch 14.16 notes just dropped, but we're still on 14.15, so Lucian hasn't been nerfed yet in mid lane. And Lucian first pick's an interesting one. I don't know if it's worth first picking. Like, you've got Corky and Triss still open. I think both of them are still better mid. Uh, Ezreal's open, so I... May, may, maybe it's a Champo issue. I'm not sure. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's also worth noting Flair has not played Lucian at all this split. So, yeah, I feel like this is more of a Takui pick than it is a Lucian, uh, a Flair pick. A Lucian. Wokes one more day hoping for Nasus with the dog out. I don't know, man. Uh, Aurora got banned, and I it sounds like Nasus or Susan is strictly an Aurora counter right now. Or uh, maybe it could be a Marksman counter. We'll see. Uh, okay, Rumble MF. I don't hate this from Rise. I think it's really stable, really solid. Uh, I need to see like setup. So ideally, Leona here, since nothing got banned in the support pool. Oh, I don't like to buy. Oh well, we'll see. Olaf for Io. Okay, this does feel a bit like a champish. Champ <laughs> Like, into Rumble, that's questionable, at, at best. Um, okay. They did not pick Leona here. Well, to be fair, there's a lot of supports you can still use, so it's it's not as necessary. Vi is an interesting pickup, I feel like, when... We've seen it quite a few times with MF. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's not terrible. I just feel like Sejuani would be better. Maokai would be better. Would do more. But if you're picking Vi, you're looking to shut down something. Like a single pick. Um, not, not in, it's not for these two, that's for sure. It's for the Lucian or the other AD carry. Whatever Flair ends up running. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. I like that idea I didn't try and waste bands on support. Since there's so many options open. There's no point banning all of it. So, yeah, Leona, Ali, Rakan, Rel, Nautilus, all open. Okay, so it looks like Rise is reading that that's Lucian mid for Takui as well. Yeah, Rise banning the AP bot option. Funnily enough, it was actually Kakashi and Linkus who ran the, the Trist Ziggs against Lauder. So, yeah. Oh, hello! That came out of nowhere. Uh, I don't hate... Like, it's really good synergistically with MF and Rumble in terms of multiplying their ultimates. But you still have zero AoE set up right now. Like, there's nothing good to set up Misfortune and, and Rumble here. Yeah, and they're going to just take the roll away. Because that's the best one. Like, Nautilus is more almost single target. Rakan, as long as they don't clump, it's hard to catch enough people. Man, I, I don't know about this one, Chief. Like, I, I don't hate the drop. I just hate the order it's coming out in. Lunar's time. You think it's to shut down for? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Four four. I think will be joining us later. Uh, we'll see. Rise banning the AP bot option. Yeah. Okay. So this could be Ezreal bot. It could be Lucian bot. I'm still leaning towards Ezreal bot. Lucian mid. Uh, we went with Nautilus as the option. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. That's that's fine. Okay, let me just screenshot this quickly. Before I forget. Okay. bot MF mid. I honestly don't think MF mid's that bad. <laughs> Vlad bot is an interesting one. I was never very high on it. Uh, I know that back when like Karthus bot was a thing, Vlad bot was a thing for a while. It wasn't. Uh, yeah. Uh, that that's the side I don't mind. I I don't like. Sorry, I don't mind the MF mid. Okay, uh, Rise, very simple team fight composition, really strong engage, uh, good sort of early game in the side lanes, Vlad will take time to scale. Honestly, actually, a pretty good composition. Vladimir, I think a lot of people have forgotten about him, but he scales incredibly well. Um, I think the last time we saw him played was, I want to say Katz was playing it mid, because Kina has a permaban, so Kina can never get his hands on it. Uh, but Katz played it, carried a game, just by scaling late. 
Uh, I like the I like the rice composition. I don't think it's the best synergistic comp for team fighting, but the scaling is pretty good in general. And for IDL, I'm slightly more concerned about this composition they have, just because you're picking the Ezreal into a buy. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, you're picking the Ezreal into the buy. I don't know if Flare will be able to. Wait, hold on, let me just double check. It was Flare taking a bot, right? Yep, that was Flare taking a bot. Okay. Oops. Just click. <laughs> I'm trying to get the bomb at 30. I have to balance it against uh, when Power 4 gets in here. <laughs> uh, Ren, you remember the cat's Vlad game? Yeah, exactly. Like, if you can get to late, Vlad is really, really good. The big problem with Vlad has always been getting to late and also the CC for your team. Uh, and there's a, a lack of CC. So let's we'll see how the Vlad kind of goes. My concern with IDL is I don't trust the skill on this comp. Lucian is kind of interesting as far as. Uh, marksman mids go because his sustained damage is not as good as Shasana, Corky, Ezreal. Um, it's not bad, or even Draven actually. It's not bad, but it's not like as good. So a lot of times you're picking the Lucian more for early game and mid game. Uh, his cullings later on will still be very, very impactful. Mm, yeah, but the Ezreal, basically, I don't think Ezreal gets to play, and I don't think Ayo gets to, to play late game either. Olaf is not a good late game champion, so. That doesn't have power spike like, till level 9, Lunar. Uh, yeah, fair. I, heck, I'd even go as far as to say, like, level, level 12, like, when he gets the... Or level 11, when he gets his um, second point in ultimate. Yeah. He, it's, it's, and he's dependent on items, too. Like, Vlad, base numbers are not good, though. Yeah, we'll kind of see how it goes. Into the Lucian, at least one good thing about Vladimir mid, and why I actually used to prefer it in a way to top lane, is that you've got higher burst potential. So, when you multiply the ultimate, this vlad Vi combo is going to be strong at level 6. Uh, you don't need Vlad's damage, not in, not into Illusion. Vi's damage plus the Hemo Plague will be enough to kill the Illusion. So, th there is gank potential, and there's very little you can do against the Vi ganks. Level 9 is Q-Max. True. I, I, yeah. I guess in my head, I don't think of like Max Q as necessarily Power Spike, because it's pretty linear scaling on his Q in terms of levels, but you're not wrong. Yeah, having Max Q does help a lot in terms of trade and being able to sustain. Okay. TP's on mid laners, both top laners not running TP. That's an interesting one. Barrier, Ignite, and bot lane for both. Okay. So pretty similar sums for the most part. Nothing too crazy, Sumner, or Keystone-wise. Yeah. Um, early levels, Shrimp, Shrimp should be looking for active ganks. Shrimps needs to be very active this game, especially between top and mid, which is generally how RDL plays. Shrimp doesn't gank pot that, that often. Flare and Yuki are often kind of left in a isolated 2v2. And you're fine at that. They're they're perfectly good. <laughs> but Shrimp can really abuse the weak Vladimir early and look for invades and punishes onto the Levi. Lucian is so, so much stronger. Yo, Spoods! Welcome, welcome! Linkers versus Takui. Who do you cheer for? Yeah, that, that's the hard question, right? Uh, I started to stream off and I was saying, like, hey, VKS Academy, they're done their game, but today is kind of a... Like, the narrative still relates to Kate Stars, right? They're starting CB LOL mid laner versus Linkas who had to sub in because of Takui. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't see my die here. Oh. Really nice body block from Kakashi. Well played. Super close. Yeah, Kakashi was standing in front of body block and he arcane shots coming out. Mystic shots for If Bounty dies right there, right from the get-go against Flair, they've got problems. This ball lane gets really rough for them. Yeah, the only summers left is Yuki and Kakashi's flush. <laughs> Yeah, the Nautilus level 1 is not that that strong. And Rel is queen at kind of soaking engages anyways right from the get-go. Okay, here comes the invade. Did they see each other? No. They must have not seen each other. Okay. Really nice read from Shrimp though. Uh, I feel like Shrimp could probably have just waited a bit more. 
Oh, nice. Shrimp. Shrimp's positioning, by the way, is so good here. He keeps putting himself in such a way that Sting is tanking up the ripoff. But if he had just waited for maybe like half health on ripoff, I think he gets the kill on Sting. Because Sting has taken damage by the point. Really close. Yeah, but that's exactly what you, you want to see from that Sejuani early on, kind of punishing the, the Vi. His Vi is not really a sustained damage champion, so she's kind of burst oriented, which is weak against Sejuani. And Link is simply cannot rotate to back him up. Cheer for the Norn Orn players, Norn. <laughs> no, Spoods! Don't get sucked into Lunar's anti Orn propaganda. Orn is good. Orn is the literal goat. Okay, Shrim just took only the rip off and backed out. That's fine. He still got some terrible bots I had to clear. Though, again, I would like to see a gank come through from Orn into a lane. Oh, Linkus is getting slammed mid. Holy crap. Keep in mind, Bounty no flash. Oh, Shrimp's going for the cutoff angle. Nice. Very, very clean. Oof. Okay. Sedge also wins nearly all the 1v1s in the early game. She's show, yeah. Uh, that's that's kind of true, yeah. Because most, very few junglers are sort of sustained. Uh, sustained damage. Oh, Takui. Is Takui dead? Oh. He's gonna break some ankles. Wait, what the hell? He went for the execute. Okay. That's fine. It's like, yeah. Honestly, for Takui, it is faster to execute, respawn, and get back to lane than it is to try and, like, loop all the way out. And there's a chance that Zekka just cuts you off, so. I like the call. Oh my goodness. Sh shrimp. Oh no. Oh, come on! Okay. He's running back for Yuki. I don't know if that's the right call. Uh, okay. That's fine. Very, very nice, my deal. The reason why I wasn't sure it was the right call for Io to back off there is because Vi is cooldown dependent. So if you stick on her, like with his sustain, he might have been able to win that. But that's fine. Yeah. Shrimp had no flash in the bot lane gang. So this ends up being really, really good for Io. Getting both your kills in Io. If he can one win the 1v1, then he will dominate the 1v1. Olaf is a snowball champ. Really nice. The hell, Lunar? Orn is like Star Wars 9. Everyone wanted it until they got it, and now everyone pretends it doesn't exist. <laughs> no, man. It's just Brazil who doesn't like their tanks in the top lane. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. They, they play Zion here. To be fair, after 8, you don't think anyone wants it? Nine. Yeah. The, the whole recent trilogy was just... I don't know. I also hate the fact that they wiped out the um, existing extended universe. I was a big fan of the whole, like... Um, what's their names? Jason, Jan, uh, Jana, Jana, Jana Solo? Like the extended novel universe. But that's all been deleted. Wiped out. Okay. Big 2k gold lead for IDL. And it's kind of just off early game laning. The, the double, the two kills that went over. Oh, I didn't realize Yuki actually picked up the kill. That's not good. Actually, that's really bad. <laughs> IO really wanted that kill. Okay, that, that explains why they're not getting huge leads. Yeah, it's just small leads across the table. <laughs> The one on Andor are the only Star Wars you recognize. Yeah, Solo was pretty good too, actually, I thought. Like, oh, ironically, all the standalone movies were, I thought, pretty decent. Okay. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how IDL presses this lead that they have. Because this bot side especially, I didn't have the Ezreal Rel winning it. So I thought Ryze had side lanes to play through. 
But now, they don't have bot side to play through. I don't think they can contest for the objectives. Level 6 should have been a power spike, but if you're kind of down in lanes, then it's not as strong as you think. And Linkus is still not going to be a huge contributor. Like, maybe if you can get Zekus into the fight with Linkus and Bounty. Like, the problem is you need all three right now at this point. And generally, you don't see 5v5s that early. It's usually 4v4s. I mean, you might get Bounty rotating up. I think that's your best bet. Shrim's doing it again. He plays really well around these objectives. Like, look how much damage Thing is taking from just the Goid Corps right now. Deck is dead. Oh my goodness. Sting didn't even get a single Void Grub. Okay. Yeah, Sting is getting bullied this game. Really hard. Like, I don't want to say that Sting's making mistakes, but there are certainly some questionable choices. I think a lot of it's just the pressure that Shrimp has put down uh, with the lanes. And it's snowballing very, very rapidly. That's really good for Adiol. Yeah, we'll see what else they can do. Oh, but they can keep up this pressure. Qual seria o propósito deles contestarem com esse Vladimir que ainda não tá num But right now yeah every every lane's a winning lane for Radio. Yeah, uh Spoods, you need to watch that one then. Lunar bad batch and rebels were good. Um, five hit. Yes, yes to all of that. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the Clone Wars stuff was pretty good too. The, 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 those were the cartoon ones. They were good for their time. They've kind of the graphics haven't aged the best, but the storylines were good. Okay, he's roaming out. Yeah, I think right now, what I'm tracking is just kind of Shrimp's ultimate here. Every time Glacial Prison is up, I expect to see Shrimp gank. Uh, Yuki hitting 6 will be massive too. Yuki's a little bit behind right now. Uh, Bounty's ahead. Bounty got to sit and soak up more XP. But yeah, th those two, I think, are the big playmakers. And once they're up, then things can happen. The hell are we seeing up here? I was... Just got zoned out. That was weird. Okay. Star, Star Wars is Star Trek, obviously. Uh, Star Wars, mate. I am not a Trekkie. I didn't really watch it, so. Oh. Oof. I will burn out and ghost on that. That was a choice. Uh, I'll have to be careful too. He doesn't have Ripper Warded. He could get ganked. Uh, evil Clone Wars wasn't Disney? Oh, wasn't it? My bad. I guess it was, yeah, it was pre-Disney, but I thought Disney like did another Clone Wars thing, no? I, I might be misremembering. Like the whole Bad Batch thing is, uh, Star Wars too, no? Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of their miniseries though. Like Mandalorian was fine, but the whole Boba Fett one was kind of meh. Oh. Fights in every single lane at the same time. Damn. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Like I said, as soon as that comes off cooldown, expect to see a play down somewhere on the map. Top side, Sting ganked. Zekas barely survived, dude. They had to dive the turret to get that. That was really, really, really close. If Zekas had died there, dude, IDL was just running away with this game completely at that point. Oh, Takui with the TP. He wants to kill. He doesn't have ult, though. He already used it. Okay. Oh, Takui's dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this one, Chief. Kind of over aggressive. And feeding the kill over to Link is. Uh, that's a bit of a yikes. Observers getting their ankles broken. Hey, cre credit to the CB Law Academy observers and, and CB Law observers in general. They did a good job trying to catch all the action. They managed to catch the mid lane to Kui out. Uh, they showed this in the small screen. And then they had the kill sound bot. Oh. One more axe. One more axe. If that had landed, that would have been so good for Ideal. And it's Kui TPing in. Yeah. I appreciate that Takui didn't bother trying to flash out this way and trying to get away. Because that was a three man collapse coming in. I'm not confident he'd have survived. But, yeah. 
a quantidade de recursos que a Fortnite rough. jogou nessa parte de cima com os times. Good for us getting some kills. They're still down more than 2k, but yeah. And that's coming off plate gold because all this is happening pretty early. So the plate gold still going in favor by DL. Like top side they got one plate, that was it. Já tinham feito anteriormente botando o segundo aí na conta deles, mas eles preferiram ir para Let's see here. Boy group second set is up right now. It's going away in a couple like 30 seconds if nobody starts it up. So Ideal need to start this. Ayo has no ghost. He's got Ranrock though. Oh my goodness. That's pretty disgusting. He's sustaining for so long. Oh my goodness. It's a slaughter. Takui dove topside too, by the way. Like Again, it's like action all across the map. Wait. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Bot side was a 3 for 3 at the end of the day. Okay, a lot of chaos. Uh, on the bright side for Rise, Ideal only picked up one more Herald, uh, one more Void Guard, pardon me. It's still enough to get Void Mites though, so I don't know if it's worth it. Um, and then it was a 4 for 3 at the end of the day. Because they killed Zekas up top, so. But this bot side is not bad for Rise. Honestly, if they can keep funneling gold into Linkas like this, it's not terrible for Rise. The gold gap is still about the same as prior to that whole kerfuffle. So. <laughs> Go, Linkas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Takui's Lucian... I oh, don't know, man. It's not... Impressing me. That much. I feel like he's getting a bit over-aggressive with it. And to me, that's a function of this Vladimir pick, right? Knowing that you can never match the skill and you feel like you've got to make something happen early, but... Accelerating game pace is not always the right thing to do. If, if you're just accelerating game pace equally, then it favors the skilling team. Yeah, we kind of got to see what happens to the edge rolldown bot too, right? When Flare goes in. Basically, Sting's one job this game. The entire job is just kill Flare. If Sting kills Flare, that's job then every single time. You trade your life. And then the rest of your team will mop up. It's a very slow rotate from Rise. They are very late to this objective. Yeah, ideal still in control of the game. <laughs> oh, Yuki can't even get over the wall. Okay, that was clean from Rise. <laughs> Good pick, good pick. There you hope Shaker wasn't angry again today and took out 4 and 4 by making Riot Studios. <laughs> oh. Okay. One hacks and he's out. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I saw a couple of people talking about the earthquake yesterday. It seems like nobody was too badly affected by it, which is good. Uh, yeah, and I don't know where 4 4 is, so. He'll come when he comes. Actually, hold up. I see 4 4 in chat. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I guess we really will just see when he gets here. <laughs> I don't know, Lunar, you say series might be over, but you're predicting a 3-1, uh, you know, so... Eu sinto que o Vladimir nessa composição específica da Rise para pegar um cara ele não. If it's three one, yeah, he'll probably get here if he's gonna show up today. Again, it depends on schedules, right? Like not everybody's free all the time. It is weekday after all. Uh, Spoon's a huge Fire Four fan. Same. He needs a VTuber model too. Yeah, everybody needs a VTuber model, man. These are great. <laughs> but Four I Four is pretty photogenic, so I don't know. I think Camper him works pretty well. His uh, flesh tuber model is pretty good too. Okay, Dragon is being picked up by IDL off their bot side. Linkus is pushing top, should be able to get that turret. If they're not feeling comfortable, they can always just alt to clear this wave. Either Kakashi or Zekas. Oh! 
<laughs> Nautilus Hook is so buggy, man. Yeah, and Rise, they are staying in it still. One for one trade. Gold is still... Actually, the gold gap is closing a little bit. We're now down to 2k from like 2.5 earlier. This is good for Rise. Really good for Rise. Tinha em cima dele Até em, criou vantagem em, em relação cima dele. a farm, exatamente. Mas agora o Goro do Kui vai jogar side lane, vai, vai meio que voltar a vantagem. É, okay, one to one, yeah. Literally just vida. kind of trading even Mas for the most part. De todo modo, eu sinto que a equipe da IDL tá mandando no jogo. I'm just trying to think, like, is there... As propostas estão sendo da Rise. Like, IDL had to lead from the get-go because of just really good laning, um, being able to punish both side lanes. But I almost feel like their power spike is kind of done. Yeah. Like, maybe when they complete mirror mana for Claire and they might just rush a mortal reminder for Takui. Like, that might be uh, their next and last power spike. But after that, it should just all go Rise's way as skill and continues. Tá no pico de poder, agora tá no... é bem perigoso. I'm looking at the time, it's like 3, mm, three four minutes on Dragon. Yeah, I, I expect that to be the big team fight that we're watching out for. I do still have a Herald to make a play with, though. Mirror Mana completed for Flare. Ooh, I don't want the split push. Tanto farm assim à frente. Yeah, that, that early gank for uh, for Shimp onto Isle was absolutely massive. If Isle wasn't winning early, we wouldn't be in this game state. Oh, Bounty? Okay. Really good patience from Shimp. He didn't blow the Glacial Prison. He's being very, very careful with it. I really like that. Yeah, they're, they're looking for their pick. Ideally, they don't want to, like, team fight, team fight. As ultimates ainda estão disponíveis para criar alguma jogada, mas eu acho que é muito difícil você criar nesse ponto. Eu acho que as equipes estão focando demais nesse Aran aqui, sendo que nenhuma das equipes... I'm actually a little bit surprised we didn't see IDL just try and brute force the mid lane with Herald. Uh, I feel like with Herald and with Shrimps out there and seeing... Because they had so many wards down, they saw people split up. They could have just brute forced it. Oh, I was just running down Zekas, though. Nice, and he can get out, maybe? Nope. Okay, I thought he could get out. Still, one for one. Not bad. Ideal's going for Baron. Damn. Yo, bold plays, bold plays. They, there's vision, too, because Takui swept and took out the ward. Uh, Sing's running as fast as he can. There's no rumble out. There's no MF out. Oh. They're split on both sides. Takui got caught by the Vladimir. They need to kill him because... Okay, they got it. Really nice call from IDL. Huge. Oh. Kakashi, though? Oh, my goodness. That damage. Yep. That I am so impressed by IDL there. The calls from IDL... Oh, man. This is what we were missing in the regular season. Okay, so IDL really did improve for the playoffs. They just got stomped by Pain because Pain's Pain. But, oh, that series of plays. It starts with IO actually baiting somebody down here, right? Because IO called... Like, Sting had to go down, which is why IDL gets to start this up. And Rise, yeah. The, the flank from Rise is a good idea. But IDL just picked the, the direction perfectly. And because Shrimp still had the Glacial Prison, he can just stop the, the fight from coming through the bot side and they can just turn on the top side with the Glacial Prison. It's huge. I mean, Kakashi did really well here to find that kill on the Shrimp, at least. But we went from a 2k even game, or from 2.5k to 2k. And now like four and a half thousand. That, that's good for Audio. Audio managed to accelerate the game again in their favor. Or not accelerate the game, they managed to get gold in their favor again. And they can just play for Dragon. Yeah. It's really critical too, because as long as IDL can take out Zekas, Linkus, or Kakashi, like just one of them, from one of these three, the, the team fight gets a lot simpler for them. What they're scared of is trying to deal with all three at the same time, because Linkus is a multiplier. So when they killed Zekas bot side, it enabled them to confidently try and force the fight. Like they weren't 
Committed to the Baron. The call there is more just to try and force a fight. Vai chegando para contestar. Os ultimates dele já estão disponíveis, metendo bala e a hemofraga também o equalizador. Então a ideia ele quer brigar num espaço mais aberto, se brigar num espaço fechado. Similar position with the dragon. Dragon goes down a lot faster though. So ideal is going to focus on finishing the dragon first. Oh, nice try from Sting. And then they need to be careful how they play out this fight. Yeah, you're seeing that huge AOE come through. Wow, I guess it doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, the double oxen. Takui's picking up all the kills. Ah, uh, this is a little bit scary for Takui. He needs dodge win. Yep, perfect. Oh, Takui. You beautiful, beautiful beast. Takui does not belong here, man. Oh my goodness. That fight he played so well. He kited everything out. Uh, I, <laughs> I actually was scared for them because Io and Shrimp just and Yuki just ran ahead first into everything Rise throughout and just did not care. They almost died too. Yuki was like on a sliver of health by the end of it, I think. Like right here, I thought you'd disengage. But Yuki and Io just like sprinted it. And then Shrimp just went running into all of that too. Solid flash from Ayo, by the way, to try and stop the ultimate, but Kakashi held his nerf. Yeah. If they weren't this far ahead, like, IDL literally could not have done this at Baron. They needed the gold they got from Baron to pull this, to, to just run at them. And then Takui just spaced out the Electro Harpoons perfectly. Spoon's 50-minute Vladimir carries the vision. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. It does indeed look like a bit of copium right now. Uh, Link is... Interesting to me, actually opted to go Void Staff instead of Zonia's second. Feels like Link is kind of saying, okay. Like, I'm just trying to burst and kill people as fast as I can. I don't hate the idea. I do think when you're behind, building damage is the way to go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Really good combo. I'll... Oh, just barely. Just barely. But yeah, again, for IDL, the reason why they're just willing to trade one for one is once these outs are off the table, right? Like, we talked about how if you can remove one of these carries, you're good for IDL. Removing their outs is almost almost as good. It's like 70% of their, their threat is the ultimate. Oh. Oh, I hate this. Oh. oh, I hate this. Okay. Really good patience. Oh, my goodness. Holy. Ooh. I'm sweating there. That almost became a 50-50. Yeah. Good patience from... I, I, yeah. That peel off was really, really scary um, from IDL. Like, I can't say it was a, a wrong call or a bad call because they made it work, but it was a scary call. Okay, Kakashi able to get help out get bounty on two, uh, two turrets. It's a pretty good constellation prize. I don't know if it's enough. Okay, one thing we didn't talk about is the wave clear from Rise. Uh, it's not great. <laughs> I love their wave clear. Is uh, you've got equalizer, you've got bullet time, but those are your big ultimates you want to fight with. You don't want to be wave clearing with that. This fortune's range is kind of short. That melee thing that Lunar always complains about, so clearing is rough. Uh, Vlad's range is short as well. His wave clear actually requires him to be in the minion and wave. Which is not ideal. Okay, yeah, we just keep pushing and pushing. You can see Rise can't wave clear this. They just lose that turret so quickly. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Rip down. Okay, Linkus is doing damage, to be fair. I mean, we end up trading three for three. That's a win for us. Zekas doesn't end up going down. A questionable win for us. And this game, Chemtech's actually not bad for both these teams. Thing and Linkus both benefit from it. Io and Shrimp are both pretty happy with it. Okay. Yeah, well played from IDL. It's not the cleanest finishing, but it's high pressure finishing, which I kind of like. It's very similar to what Kate Stars is doing in TV Low right now, where it's not the cleanest, but yeah. They're doing this to guarantee they get inhibitor, two inhibitors, and then they just need to push top after this. Yeah. Rise play well under turret, and they're kind of tanky, so. <laughs> Could we take some major shots? Okay. Uh, Lunar, you hate that France found a way to lose that last gold of the Olympics, so US was able to die. <laughs> They're in the US. Are you not supporting your country? <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I did not follow the Olympics at all, the split. Or this year. The split. <laughs> this Olympics, so I don't really know what's happening. I got turned off by the whole Canadian soccer team scandal. Uh, our women's soccer. That was stupid. Yeah, Canada didn't do well this, uh, this Olympics. Yeah, okay, I just need a group up as five for stop. No point in really going for one at this point. Uh, that push out from Rise in the bot lane. Okay, we see this a lot where teams just push out. I don't hate it, but one thing you have to watch out for is that when you shove all the way back here, this is probably going to be a double wave, a double super wave. It could even be triple. So, Rise kind of put the timer on themselves for this. Oh, I hate this. Io went a split push. Why did we split? Just stay five. Oh my goodness. Ideo just threw. Really good out selection from Bounty. Yeah, Flare's dead. He's dead. This is so dumb. This is like the first, I think, major mistake we saw IDL make. Literally just called do not for one. Yeah. Really, really good on Rise. Like the moment they saw Io show up mid, they just went for this. It's the right call. And this trying to turn back around, that was just kind of over aggression at that point. Yeah. Bounty putting the depth charge onto Flare was huge because it, it did still get to Kui in the, in the process, but it also makes sure that Flare couldn't get away. Even with all the mobility of an Ezreal. Mm, Ryze is still down 5k gold, but... Yeah, and Link is still not picking up the Zonias. Went with the Death Cap instead. Okay. Canada soccer team in Truons. Name and more iconic. Duo. It wasn't iconic till now. <laughs> like, it's literally never been an issue before. That anybody was aware of. Oof. <laughs> good read from IDL. <laughs> I like the Death Push idea from Rise, though. It's a good show. I'm actually not sure if IDL win a uh, team fight right now. They are still up a lot of gold, but just the natural scaling kind of works against them a little bit. Okay, they're in the Baron pit. Really good vision setup from IDL too. Like, they didn't wait till Baron spawns to clear out the vision. They clear out the vision first. So that when Baron spawns, they're right onto it immediately. And with the shove from the supers, it's pretty comfortable for them to do this. <laughs> then after they do Baron, they should just collapse top. There's a wave coming in soon, too. Yeah, don't reset. Perfect. It's kind of wasted because the lot... The, these are the last set of supers. That super that just went down here and that super that's going down there are the last supers that come in for IDO. So now they have to pour one again. Ooh, Takui flashed. Brother Takui, not like this. You were supposed to save Brazil. Not fall to it. 
cara, ele parou. Um Man, o Takui's throwing. Um dos caras que tá forte nesse time, mas vai fazer falta, tá? Vai fazer falta esse dano do Zekas na próxima, na próxima briga. Na I went from hearts to tears real quick there. <laughs> On Takui. Takui had such a good dragon fight and then very, very questionable fights after. Ah, well, you did say IDL takes a game, Lunar, so, you know, this should be the game they take on paper. On paper. The sick part too is Takui also used TP. <laughs> so IDL literally can't push and that's going to be like two extra waves that Ryze gets to pick up for free. Ah, uh, Linkus, okay. Horizon Focus. So, yeah, it looks like Link is just not feeling Zonius this game. To be fair, he hasn't died too, too much. Uh, so, yeah, if you're not going to die, then I guess you just build straight damage. It's good enough. This Elder Drake's probably going to decide the game. I'd also have Baron buff. It does give you a bit of extra AP and AD. So, it's not bad. Ooh, Shrimp is melting. So I'm a fire and ice. <laughs> I was looking at, oh, don't do this, Ayo. You don't have TP. Okay. Oh, we just, okay. Ayo got the inhib at least. A IDL ganhou o posicionamento por conta da movimentação da Ryze para poder se defender. O Ayo vai incomodando, incomodando muito com esse Olaf. Não deixa o Zekas vir. Ah, it's a game of chicken between the top laners. If Ayo can hold Zekas here, it's worth. Esse ponto porque o Lynx precisa. If he can hold him. Um bom espaço para lutar. O dragão seu já foi iniciado na metade da vida. Tá na metade da vida. A Ryze faz um avanço. Só tem três jogadores. Half health on the Elder already. Yo, we are actually gonna flip this on an Elder. Oh man. Mas ele tá vindo para trás junto para encarar o Yuki. The hell? What's that flash from Yuki? Okay. Ideal, get the right focus. Lunar, you can't tilt if you're always tilted. It's just your natural state of being. Ideal doesn't know what tilt is. They were born into it. It is their natural state. Okay, and then Elder just cleans this up. It is done. It is finished. Ideal, do it. It wasn't the cleanest. <laughs> But they did it when it mattered. And Shrimp locked down every smite. So. Really well played. Really solid game. Uh, also, very stressful game. As an IDL fan, this is not. But seeing how the early game went, <laughs> it's not what you wanted to see. But hey, they did it when it mattered. <laughs> Yo, how come IDL gets like a special animation for their logo? <laughs> no other team had that special animation. Yeah. Um, yeah, really just overall well-rounded team. A uh, well-rounded play, I mean, pardon me. From IDL there. I just think, like, uh, who would you MVP in this team? I do think everybody did really well. I probably, for the for one of the rare times, I wouldn't MVP Takui. Because I think Takui made that a lot harder than it had to be. Uh, I think Shrimp played really, really well. I don't like that Ayo went for the 4-1 split push right when you had supers pushing in. But other than that, he did a really great job snowballing. Uh, the Ezreal from Flare was absolutely amazing. I think I'd probably give it to the bot lane. Flare or Yuki, one of these two, probably gets MVP for me. Uh, Ryze, on the other hand, I like the composition. I think the biggest problem for Ryze was just they fell behind in the early game. After the early game, they had pretty decent showings. The team fights were pretty solid. Uh, the last Elder call, though, I will say, I think was a bit of a mistake. Like, Linkus was looking to try and come and punish Yuki. I, I don't... I, in the first place, I don't think Linkus should be looking for that flag right there. Um, like, I understand it. And for Vladimir, positioning and getting into the fight is really, really important. But when Elder's at, like, less than half health, Elder is the single most important thing. The fight should happen around the Elder and trying to push out the enemy team. It should not be, like, trying to find a pick on somebody else. So Yuki getting this flag is huge. And then making this call from Sting to go here, I think it's just a... It, that, that's the big mistake which cost him this fight. Like, they just no chance for a steal. See, you've blown everything here. 
The, the fight was never about Elder. You didn't even push Ideo off Elder. So Ideo just makes the right call, which is, hey, Yuki, we thank you for your service. Uh, you did your job. You distracted them. We get Elder, and then we just push them. Like, we just wiped the rest of this fight. And Zek is going down too. That also happens because of the flipping Elder. Yeah, right there. Poop. Yeah. A little bit rough. And decision making. Oh well. Exatamente. Eu vejo que o grande ponto aqui acaba sendo justamente esse excesso de vacilos que a equipe da Rise cometeu. So, nice, pretty nice close game. Uh, it probably shouldn't have been, but it was. Rise shows that they're not the type of team who's just gonna tilt and just give up. But seeing how far down they were, they're able to come back. Now, drafting wise, though, this does throw up some interesting situations because now uh rumble and mf are off the board both these are great the vi pick too uh the, honestly the vi could have been a, such a bad pick if not for the fact that ideal actually opted for the ezreal here if you had just gone like zaya rakan for example uh this comp would have been very wasted from rise gaming i guess you can argue it's wasted uh i like the vibe the way it operated but unfortunately it's not available for lucas anymore right fearless it's out and you could have used this so much later on a little bit unfortunate. So, oh, I didn't even realize. I didn't ban Leona. I kind of don't like this. You should have gone Leona here. I think it would have been better. Better setup for the team at any rate. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for IDL, I don't think they burnt too, too much. They took out Ezreal, which is like, okay, you know. You won't be able to play that again. It's such a strong champion. But they got their hands on it. It's worth uh, Io loses the Olaf, so he's down to what? Oh, Pantheon and... Uh, Aatrox. Pantheon and Aatrox. That's what Io's kind of down to in terms of comfort picks. Yeah. Uh, supports. It's really weird that neither of the teams pry out the support. I think we'll probably see jungle pry coming in next game. Sting as well, in particular. He's a really good AP jungler. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for the Lilia. Let's look at the numbers. Stats. Yeah, Takui did a lot of damage. The Ezreal. Yep, okay. Yeah, I think Flair getting it would be uh, well deserved. I mean, he pumped out a metric crap ton of damage. And it's not just like Ezreal poke damage, too. A lot of it was actually converted on. So, huge props to him. Yeah, as, as the game was going on, I think more and more Lucas would have been a big threat. A bit longer, and he'd have been online. <laughs> Loki kind of impressed too with the damage that came out uh, from that top lane. From both the top laners, like both Zekas and Ayo. Yeah, the rumble from Zekas did a lot of work this game. And if anything, yeah, I still think it comes down to just not having enough setup for the uh, rumble MF combo to come through. Not being able to pull the trigger and fall behind in lane. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they get to Yuki? That's right, yeah. Like I said, Yuki or Flair? Either of them. Like, this bot lane in general, I think, did, did such an amazing job. Yuki had some really good engages. Even that last fight, like we said, that sort of uh, flank mission, that was perfect from Yuki. Like, if they didn't stop Yuki there, then Yuki just gets the engage in them anyways, but... Yeah. Like, I understand why Ryze did what they did. I just don't feel like... Yeah, I think just that Yuki engage on you. As long as you fight closer to Elder, that's more important. More than anything else. Yeah, I think 
Meus amigos, é. deixa eu te falar uma coisa pra vocês. Já chegou a informação. A Ryze vai pro lado azul agora, pra Show. próxima partida. Oh, acho que é esse yeah. caminho mesmo. Yeah. Os picks anteriores estão fora, mas mesmo assim o lado azul tem essa primeira escolha importante. Let's see if Ryze can bounce back, because... Uh, Lunar, you predicted a 3-1 for Ryze. So this is the one game I guess they could afford to lose. Uh, for me, yeah, I was not sure, so I didn't really make a prediction. If I was gun to my head, I'd probably have said... 3-1 for IDL, but after watching this game, I think it could potentially be a 3-0. Because, yeah, there's still a lot of laning, strong laning picks available for IDL, and right now, I need to see Ryze win a lane, or win an early game somewhere, somehow. I think that's where they're having the biggest problems right now. So, yeah, we'll see. So, <laughs> right now in the in our uh, CB Law English Discord, <laughs> uh, we're we're trying to arrange for interviews this week with players, uh, and I I think because I'm the only person like on right now or something I don't know. Uh, I was asked, Dia was asking me, oh, who would I like to interview? And I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm always gonna say Pain, you know, if the if the option's there, and I don't think we've interviewed Pain this split yet, so that'd be kind of cool. You gotta bring an interview. Yeah, Kate Stars and uh, Pain in CB Law right now. They excite me. Uh, I have confirmed I will be on the podcast this week, so I'll probably end up ranting on the podcast about Kate Stars and Pain because they're so good. They're so good. Break, perfect. Uh, gives me time to do a bit of work. Not gonna lie, whenever I stream, I'm always a little bit scared that like I'll open up the window on the wrong screen and it'll get blasted onto <laughs> uh, onto the internet. <laughs> After all, like yeah, some of my stuff, my work is you know confidential and all that crap. <laughs> I was just gonna say, just got a message from 4 y 4 He exists. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. I had uh, I had some errands to run, some things to do for work. Ran, ran late, but I am here. Oh, good. I saw your name in my chat, and I was like, oh, 4 y 4 is he alive? Is he not? Schrodinger's 4 y 4 I'm not sure if he's. Yeah. There we go. I, I, I popped open the stream to see if I could catch some of the, the back half of the game, but I, I did not, but I, the, the tab was open, so there you go. Um, oh my god. Need to find your pinned message. So bam. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I should right. change. This is game two now. <clears throat> yeah. So how's game one? Um, game one was. I mean, it was better than yesterday's game one. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, I think a large part of it just came down to IDL just coming up the gate swinging, caught Rise a little bit off guard. They managed to win all three lanes, which I thought was quite impressive. Um, and from there, IDL just kept pressing. Uh, I like the pace that IDL put up, but they also 
Yeah, they, they threw a little bit, which made things a little bit dicey, especially into Vladimir. But overall, I like the pace that Ideon's mm. putting up. So they, they let the Vlad burp. Yeah, I mean, Vlad against Linkus is, is not a... Uh, it's not something Linkus is known for playing. Like, that's more of a Kina pick, right? And then I think the other person yeah. I remember playing it was Katz. Uh, but that was like a one-off. You don't usually ban against Katz either. So... Yeah, I was a bit surprised, actually, that Ryze whipped it out that early. Uh, the comp was not bad for it. They had an MF and Rumble. Hold on, let me actually just bolt the draft here. Uh, yeah, they had the Misfortune and Rumble. So it wasn't a bad pick. I just felt like they didn't have enough setup for it. And like, if you had, like, a Sedge Leona, that would have been a, a picture-perfect comp for me. Right. <clears throat> but as it stood, it was kind of like, eh, okay. Like, the, the idea is good if you can get it. And we saw a couple of times the damage coming out. But because IDL had such a big lead... Um, Mm -hmm. Bought the fight and then just kind of ran with like a couple of thousand gold advantage. It was enough for them to just kind of soak the damage and still win fights. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Linkus was going up though. G given him another, given another ten minutes, he probably would have been able to carry some of those games. Muito bem, meus amigos. Já estamos de volta rapidinho para a segunda partida e aqui, ó, direto e reto, vamos embora com o Pikman para acompanhar o segundo confronto entre IDL. Seems like we're diving right into draft. Yep. Yeah. I just don't know how they've been doing it in playoffs, right? Okay, rise on the blue side, so... Okay. That's good. Yes, it was just the same size the entire time. <laughs> yeah. 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 With the zero, I think that's fair. Unless you want to pick it yourself, but B1 is a little tough. Yeah. Takuya's, I think, the only mid laner right now who's just, like, blinding his mids um, every time. Yeah. I mean, even last game he did it too, right? Like, the, the Lucian went mid. Granted, that one was a flex, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, IDL is changing up their bands on red side. Are they going to just give over Draven? Or wait, actually no. I think they open up the Trinomir because they probably have counters for Trinomir. Just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just didn't want it on red side because then there's no counter bands. Or no <laughs> chance to, to counter it before the counters get banned. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, okay. The Draven Antrin is open. They're really respecting Kakashi Zig. Okay. That's why I was a little bit surprised when Ryze banned the Zig. So I, I thought Kakashi played more than Lara, but well. Okay, it's going to be Ash, bro. I'm calling it now. Oh, wow, yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that Rise comp really does not have a lot of setup for two, two huge ults. Vi Nautilus is... Uh, yeah. Like, we've seen Vi paired with Misfortune Rumble a couple of times, but... Like, it's yeah, okay it's hard, for pick. It's hard, yeah. dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Also, like, where they picked the, the Vi was kind of weird to me, because diving Illusion with the Vi feels questionable. Mm. Like, the Ezreal kind of made it worth it, but, yeah. That, that was ideal opting <laughs> to put an Ezreal into the face of a Vi, but... Maybe just getting all the utility junglers for free. Wow, we are picking Yone really early here for us. Linkus's Yone was not bad though. He played it once. Takui hasn't touched it at all. Mm. I guess they grab cannon. Oh, he, 
think they should uh, grab Kennen here. Uh, uh, no, I'm saying uh, Zekas oh. for, uh, for Rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be good, actually. Yeah, yeah. We're picking a Jace already. Does Jace answer you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching the uh, NACL uh, hype video thing they put out the weekend. Um, it was Cubby and Kangas like interviewing a bunch of coaches about what champions. Like, I think they're saying there's 110 or 118 champions picked in NACL already. Who do you think is the next one? And Ooh. ZZ and Rago were talking about potentially <coughs> Milio being that champion. How about Milio? Yeah. It's just, it hasn't been picked, but as, uh, as far wow. as Uncharted supports go, it works pretty well in card meta. Yeah. Yeah, Braum and Milio both taken away. Okay, I like that. I, I feel like you could have held the Yone and just picked the Braum here and then picked the Yone second round. There's still an Aatrox if he wants it, but then while we're picking Aatrox into Yone, you're asking to be picked, so... Okay. Leona, I like the draft coming out on IDL in isolation. I'm not sure how I feel about it into what I'm seeing from Rai so far, though. Oh, and there's the cannon that you're calling for. There we go. <coughs> Lock it. It's picture perfect. Yeah, I wonder if we can just flip it into mid if we want to, if the Yone Jace matchup's bad. I don't know if it's bad, I just... Yeah, I'm just surprised that we see the Jace here, but I don't know the Jace matchups well, so... Dude, Kennen is 15 and 4. Oh, wow. Oh, it's actually Yorick. Wow. Okay. Interesting. A box sale is cooking. I, I yell in his weird shit, man. Yeah. See, Wilkes was in here earlier saying that. Like, I yell is too small a champ pool. But to me, it's like, they have a very small meta champ pool. If we look outside the meta, they've got a champion. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whether that's good or bad, I mean, that's a whole different discussion. But damn, okay. What the frick? I mean, okay. Oh, wait. Screenshot, screenshot. Before I... Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got very, very mixed feelings about the IDL comp. Uh, in isolation, I thought it was good until they locked the Yorick. Uh, but they can kind of play a pull comp, actually, with this comp, where... Your Maokai and Leona can effectively create space for your Jace and Jin. Uh, and then Yuri just split pushes for days. The wave clear between Jace and Jin is not bad either. Rise originally looked like they could have done a poke comp with the Shiv uh, Ash. But it looks like they pivoted into a full team fight composition, which I don't hate. Mm -hmm. I just... Yeah, I think if they can get a fight, Rise will win. Um, but I thought that lost him too. <laughs> it's whether they can pick a fight and whether they can get past the Maokai Leona uh, in terms of zoning. Again, quite a big alt-dependent composition. When alt is down for Shivano, she's not that good at team fighting. Same with Ganon. We shall see. I think top lane is going to be a focus this game with that Yorick. If you don't shut the Yorick down, he will single-handedly win the game for IDL. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Iggy really got out of control. I'm trying to check if I was actually played the Yorick before, because I know he played some weird stuff. Um, I know he played like a Darius game, a Mundo game. He was one of the first Camille players. Split. Um, He's got six games of competitive Yorick. Wow, okay. What's his record? Uh, let's see. Three wins, three losses. The last time he played it was 2019 in CB Law. Okay. And he was on pain gaming at that time. Fair enough.
a informação que a Ash consegue dar. Yeah, he also played it, uh, 2019 split one in on pain when they were that relegation split where they had to re-promote. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say because like yeah, they were relegated in like 18, right? Or yeah, I think it's 2018 split two or 20, yeah, or 2019 split one. And then I don't remember if they came up right away or whether they played like two yeah. on there. Combustão, os ataques básicos, ela também é uma campanha que provém desse dano justamente vindo dos auto ataques da do W dela. Então é uma campanha que tem que tomar muito cuidado quando você toma essa. Yeah, but he's done a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Yorick hasn't changed. Oh, okay. He, they, they've changed Yorick, but his essential play style has not changed that much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you see uh, Dio's asking me who we should interview? <laughs> I don't know why he pinged me specifically, but it's like, I assume that Dio wants us to interview Payne if he's pinging me for it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I agree. <laughs> if you give me free choice, it's always going to be big. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after, like, after they 3-0 allowed, it's probably like the best time to interview him, right? Just be like, True. there's a lot of great questions you could ask. I mean, the only better time would be after the 3-0 uh, Kate starts, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it could happen. I'd be shocked I'd if it did. I'd be very surprised if it happened. I, I'm so hyped for that matchup, man. Kate starts with the pain, looks so good. I'm going to rant so much tomorrow when we record and goes to the browse about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kate starts play style has me excited too, so. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a big crash. Yeah. Uh, the, the range matchup. Yeah. It's just tough for Yorick early. Yeah, I was running Flash TP. He's not running the Ghost. Sometimes you see Yorick run Ghost. And they just, yeah, because they can stick onto you. They mm -hmm. pretty much win most trades. Tá aqui uma interessante, uma coisa interessante que a gente tá vendo a wave já crashada na rota superior, enquanto o Shrimp tá na parte de baixo, o Sting tá na parte de cima. Então a gente pode ver um potencial dive aqui, porque nesse Jace is putting out the mid lane pretty heavily too. Tem um ângulo de dive aqui por parte da equipe da Rise. Tô bem curioso para ver se o Sting vai ter esse vai ter esse culhão e para Well, I almost a lot. Like was that 2 3 minutes yeah. in a row? Yeah, he's only down 3 to be fair. Ele tá um pouco detonada. But yeah, he missed a shit ton. <laughs> I was watching and I was like, yeah, like, what are you, what are you supposed to do? Yeah. Even with the Q, the Empowered Auto, it's still hard to get the timing down. And Zekas was really just poking the entire time, so... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Shrimp. Matt, they were showing Shrimp in the intro video and it's like, he looks like he lost even more weight. He was already skinny to start with. He is a gaunt fella. Yeah, he looks more like a praying mantis than a shrimp. Yes. Honestly, Link has surprised me. I thought he would do worse than he's been doing against Takui, because Takui is so incredibly good. But yeah, yeah. Last game, okay. Link has lost. On a range matchup, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, the gap was only about five CS till this wave in particular, and even this wave is like the wave is coming in, so theoretically. Mm -hmm. It's not as bad as it looks. É, a gente tá vendo que justamente o Jace coloca essa pressão nesse começo de rota aqui. Por enquanto a gente vê que a vantagem em termos de ouro, as equipes estão equivalentes. Oh, see how it goes. I mean, Tukui got a pretty big lead last game as well, because again, that Mirror Skill Trap, but Tukui threw a little bit with Lucian, so. Mm. Yeah, Link is stable. Link is stable. Por enquanto, um bom early game aqui, o farm da equipe dele. Quero ver nesse nível 6 aqui como o Shrimp vai se movimentar. Inclusive, o Ael, o professor, está comentando, ele voltou base, mas ele está vindo a pele. Não vai usar o teleporte, é o contrário, diferente do Zecas, que tem o TP já colando por ali. Então, vai ter vantagem de teleporte nos próximos momentos, o Ael. É por causa do posicionamento da Wave também. Se ele vai, ele ficaria numa situação super exposta, enquanto o Zecas está com a Wave. Yeah, last time, uh, last game, at this point in the game already, ideal found leads uh, at around like the five minute mark from ganks from shrimp to the top side as well as just uh, straight up actually level two level one uh flair and yuki just mashed in kakashi and bounty this game a lot more even i'm 
kind of hoping Rise can make something with that when they're more even. Juntamente a esse objetivo na parte de cima, mas é o que tudo indica com um recalque que o Flair, que o Yuki estava dando, mas a gente vê um pouco de indecisividade por enquanto. Parece que vai ser aquela troca, né? Porque eu tô vendo o Xing lá no covil, tá. onde fica os durubiros. Mas, vai mas... garantir o primeiro dragão. Eu vejo pings coming down on Void Grubs. Red pings. I don't know what they want, though. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they're just. I guess telling them that there that he's there. I guess, but there's nothing you can do. Yeah, because like I was getting shoved in right now, and Takui can't roll up solo. Yeah. Okay, the maiden's out. <laughs> Holy crap! Yo, summons in this game are getting out of control, man. Like Ivern's not a champion. Daisy's a champion. Maiden just literally changed his entire dynamic in the top lane. Yeah, Maiden's it's, it's so strong, dude. That's ridiculous. Está conseguindo jogar muito bem agora esse começo, esse, essa parte da rota aqui, aproveitando muito bem do alcance da Ash. Daqui a pouco chega nesse nível 6. E um ponto que vale destacar aqui é que o Flair não veio com esse purificar. Então, I think the only summon that's not like stronger than its summoner is probably like Annie right now. Yeah. Ooh, Link is point black miss. Ultimate do Link acaba não pegando o Xing estava perto, perto, perto. Ele teria o seu próprio ultimate. To be fair, I think point black is actually easier to miss. It can be, yeah. Like, yeah, just because technically they can just move right behind you or something, right? They're so close. The angle is sharper. Yeah. But... Yeah. Com essa movimentação do Steam, não deu certo, o ultimate passou no vazio. E com isso, o Tukui se per permanece à frente, né? How is que? Zekas is up more gold. The difference in top lane is greater than the difference in mid lane, but the CS differential is bigger in mid lane. Então ele conseguiu ter o avanço, ter a velocidade de movimento bônus para conseguir sair desse desse alcance do Lynx. Uh, something, something, cannon minion? Como não estava tão grande, nesse jogo já tem uma cara e uma configuração. Yeah, because the gold from the Orcs minions is very, very little, so it shouldn't be... That's significant. Uh, uh, Zekas has a brick. He has a plate. Ah, okay. It's like a brick. <laughs> Check this items when you said that. I was like, what's a brick? <laughs> okay, that makes sense, yeah. They go through, yeah. I didn't catch that, did I? A visão da Ryze, mas isso dá pro Zeca da informação de que tem alguém ali. É, mas a gente tá vendo por enquanto que o Yuki também tá sendo visto nessa parte de cima, então a gente tá vendo como ideia ele tá com a gente. Bit of a start, not for lack of trying, though. I appreciate that the supports are roaming and Shrimp is actively still hunting. Nenhuma das duas yeah. partes do mapa, nem a parte de cima, nem a parte de baixo, por enquanto. Achei que o Ryze tem que ter um pouco de mais, de mais, um pouco mais de proatividade pra decidir as jogadas que eles querem. Essa Ash tá nesse nível 6 aqui. Bounty is such a tree hugger. Também focar um pouco mais e ir pra essa rota. <laughs> He's eating, I think, every sapling I've seen near him. <laughs> Okay, fight. Bounty, that tree. You didn't want to hug that tree. Bro, Bounty, what the hell? <laughs> what was Bounty thinking? That was free. <laughs> he wasn't six yet. He just went in. He hit but pulverized. He had nothing left. On a Maokai. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the announcers are just as baffled as you are. Hey, we might get Dinkas for the interview. Okay. Linkers? Yo, that exhaust from Yuki was spot on, though. Like, it doesn't save Takui, but as soon as Zekas flashed in, he got exhausted. Oh, if Io gets that last play, that play was not worth for Ryze. 
Fui olha que perto com a torre, conversar com a torre, já foram três barricadas pra ele. É, você não pode sair por muito tempo da rota, não. Mas a gente vê que a Ryze consegue converter, né? O vacilo que a Ryze fez no começo, o Idere entregou de volta. Aí a gente vê que esse vacilo que, a, que, a, que o Idere cometeu... Yeah. yeah, a bit of a weird series of events there. Uh, I wanted to base, he had TP. I think that would have been the right call. It feels like somebody just pinged him down to try and stop this. Uh, and it ended up actually slowing down his uh, recall and coming back into position. Oh. Oh. Yuki, okay. Looks like a bit of the arrow. Nice. Ryze is playing the two fights really, really well. Mm. Finding the aggressive fix. Okay. A bit earlier than I expected, but I think we've already hit the point of the game where basically Ryze want to look for team fights and IDL just don't want to team fight anymore. <laughs> yeah. like you're just trying to slow down as IDL gets much poke by space that I will split push uh, Kingdom Come. Oh, Ideal needs this dragon. If Ideal can get this dragon, they buy themselves like literally 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Just push. Aquela chance, aquele momento de pegar o dragão em torno, em troca das Vastilavas, se passou, não, não vai conseguir fazer. Vai precisar de outro tipo de pressão e movimentação EDL se quiser fazer esse dragão aí, que é o segundo dragão do jogo. Eles já garantiram o primeiro. Porque a jogada toda começou justamente em cima do Shrimp, né? Então, se a Ride fez uma jogada boa na parte de cima, o Shrimp não vai conseguir... É uma weird dynamic. Eu sinto que o Tui está ganhando contra Linkas, mas o Linkas é capaz de zonar ele de uma forma de ir para a vantagem de pressão com o Flair. Oh my gosh, here we try again. Dude, but yeah, like, they, they really don't want to fight. Oh, Yuki. They, they shouldn't want to fight, and yet they keep putting themselves in a position to get wiped. Like, I don't know, man. It's weird. Like, if you don't want to fight, why are you there, IDL? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, like, they, they thought they could sneak it, I guess, but even that, that's very ill-advised. Oh. Yeah, it looks like Sting, now two kills, Kakashi, one kill. Yeah, Ryze is in a happy position. I should get your prediction. What do you think the final score is going to be, actually? And who wins? Uh, 3-2 IDL. Okay. Oh. Okay, but to here too. Nice dodge. Linkus has to come back. Ooh. Oh, the maiden's dead. Yo, Takui's not landing a shock blast right now. If he lands a shock blast, this might be different. Okay. I'll just back off. So, yeah, they, they should still be able to get the, the turret on Nick's push, though. So, that should be fine. Like, they just need a reset. And then Io can take that solo. Um, okay, I think Luna predicted a 3 1 for Rise. I predicted a 3 1 for IDL, though, after watching game one. I was thinking about revising the 3 0 IDL. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> I was thinking the 3 1 IDL. Then you were 3 2 IDL, right? Yeah. 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 So if Rise win this game, all three of our predictions are still alive. <laughs> yep, exactly. If IDL win, they're all still alive now. Uh, or no, no, because there was no, because no, Luna said uh, the 3-1 rise. Said, yeah. JK. But already looking better than yesterday, so your prediction that today's series would be better is already yeah. holding true. De acordo com o que o jogo for rolando. E se o jogo não se estender muito a, a kills e esses abates todos, o Xing vai conseguir se beneficiar. Yeah, a game's still really, really close right now. It literally just comes down to can IDL cut out and not get engaged on. Yeah. Which, uh, gonna be interesting. Yep. To be fair, I don't think they've tried yet, so. Oh. Yo, Kakashi's been so good with these ults. Damn. Tá criando várias oportunidades com essa flecha, tá? 
várias oportunidades dessa vez nesse jogo quem tá brilhando é a bot lane da Ryze pegar oh. o tudo também ele tem que usar o flash para poder é, sair nice. flash. a Ryze vai ameaçando avançando pescando os adversários e a gente vê que o jogo toma um ritmo totalmente diferente quando a equipe da Ryze começa a criar essas jogadas mas as jogadas vêm da criação justamente do atirador da equipe da Sim. Ryze que não é o cara que normalmente tem esses recursos e tem é, essa iniciativa toda mas estou gostando de ver a Ryze provando first break goes to Ryze Yorick is not having a good time. No. I've uh, had a couple CS, but... What's going okay? Like, he should get that, uh... Takui should get this tower up top. Yeah, I was just expecting IDL to pick up first brick, especially when I already did all the setup top side. It's, it kind of stings a little bit that IDL... Uh -huh. I just realized that intentional. Uh, yeah, IDL kind of losing shrimp and then turret there. This feels really, really, really bad. And even now, actually, Tukui can't push in! He's not getting the tower. And they're rotating Io up there instead. Takui has no TP. That bot side turret, if Linkus wants it, Linkus can have it. I don't know what Linkus just wanted it off to do. I think he was trying to clear wards, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It's gone. Yep. Yeah, the hell? Exactly. The script is just being completely flipped. Damn. I mean, I, I like Rise of Calm, but I, this is not a Calm diff. This is <laughs> decision making diff. Okay, there we go. I was just walks up, bonks it. Gone. Okay, okay, okay. We got something. Yeah, as long as IDO can isolate the top side, they don't have great vision to the lot of this push, but. No, not this one. Yeah, okay, everybody's trying to push mid instead. You should go right to Dragon. Yep. Yeah, the Herald was just bait to set up for this. And but then now IDL, in theory, they go to help out Isle. What can they do? Problem is the push, or the backup from this team is not as good um, on the push. No. Like, it needs to be Takui or Flare who moves up here. You need some range if you want to try and help out Io. Like, three melees into a cannon. Oh, good question. Did he dodge an arrow, maybe? I guess. Those timers seem to line up. Flash or arrow is not worth it, bro. At that point, just freaking take a cleanse. I think Ideal is going to sit back till they get a mirror mana on Tukui. Then after that, their pulp hopefully works. I mean, they're not going to get super tanky on the side of Rise, so. Yeah. I really don't like this Shrimp Yuki cover for Isle. Like, I think the vision cover is fine, but them being on this side of the map doesn't do anything, and Link is getting free push everywhere else. Ui. <laughs> And the time it took for IDL and IO to walk the wave into bot side outer turret, Link has walked top wave into top side inner turret. Também a Ash como possibilidade, a própria Shivana também consegue causar um dano legal e rápido. 
E aí é perigoso pra equipe da IDL dar a cara numa situação dessa, cara. Porque juntou, deu a cara, você tá entrando numa situação em que o Kennen faz o que o Kennen quer fazer. É, mas em contrapartida, essa questão do Barão aqui é que não tem ninguém que tanque. Vai tancar esse Alistar, mas talvez ele vai perder muito HP. E bom, ele é a única bom. fonte primária de engage que tira nesse Kennen com algum flanco. Bom, okay, Zekas is the long con. Um avanço, e eles não querem jogar de uma maneira tão rápida. E aqui a gente tá vendo o Zekas indo pra cima do Aiel. Complicou, não sei hein? se a dama é 2v2. Será que a dama vai ajudar? Zekas <risos> calando. <risos> É. A dama deu medo, você viu? A dama viu que a Riot ficou com medo, é, não veio não. Era 2v2 ali. Então com Damn. um jogador a mais aqui. Didn't, uh, didn't go in on it. Não, que que não lendo aqui? Com dois jogadores, a ideia já tava no, no cangote ali no rio descendo pra chegar. Tanto o Tukui quanto o Shurin estavam bem próximos dessa situação. Agora o Zé... Uh-oh. Oh. 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 That's Giga Huge. Good pick. Well done, Flair. Didn't give up on it. Yeah. Now you've got cover for Ayel. What can you do? Like legitimate cover. And that's exactly what he can do. <laughs> you got a real pass. Yeah. Gently place the turret on the ground. <laughs> E foi exatamente isso que a IDL fez. Foi ah, não, eu gentleman. That, that was 50 shades of. <laughs> 50 shades of grave. Oh, with that. Now you're, oh, now you're the hell worse. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, here is the change since uh, our boy last played it in 2019. It's the Hallbreaker. That was five years ago. That's fucked up. I hate that. Was Hallbreaker a thing five years ago? No, I'm saying 2019 was five years ago. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to think. Was, when did Hellbreaker get into the game? This was like 2021? Okay, so there wasn't even a Hellbreaker back then. Damn, okay. Yeah, I think. Well, here, let me, let's find out. I mean, it's still really good for pushing. They nerfed more the uh, resistances this gives you, so that mm. um, you're not, like, invincible, basically, when you're yeah. trying to gank you. You're killable. Hellbreaker came into the game and... Oh! Oh, you can now build Hellbreaker in ARAM? Interesting. Why would you? <laughs> You're never alone! <laughs> oh, hold up. This is actually a fight that I didn't want. won. Rise is split. Oh, really nice from Shrimp. It was 2021. I'm so good at this, dude. You are. Bow. 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 Oof. No shot. He Those two three. are free. Come on, man. And Zekas dies anyway. It's just a Takumi solo. Yikes. Oh, there are those good rise team fights. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was tough to watch. It just a, oh, hey, Takui's starting to do damage now. Yeah, and Flair, Flair's doing incredibly well this game with those uh, deadly flourishes. Yeah, no, they've been money. Perfect picks. The, the, the current call, that's so, but... <laughs> yeah, that all worked out. One thing at a time. Yeah. Basically, this is what the game is going to reduce down to. Are these sort of standoff uh, teamfight situations? Can Rise, can IDL pull Rise apart? Uh, it's not even like can Rise teamfight because technically, with this comp, the answer should always be yes. Like you actually have pretty good yeah. engage this time. Kakashi's been great with those enchanted crystal arrows. It's more an IDL to outperform. Are they not going to replay that fight? Okay. Well, too late now. <laughs> New fight could break out anyway. I, I kind of want to see how they pulled Rise apart because Rise fought that into, like they were broken too for most of that fight. I think so you could. Reason. I think you could take it to a replay. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's see here. Zek is top side. Where the hell is? Oh, Linkus is down bot. Oh, when he TP stopped, that's why they got split. But even here, if you just commit into the fight from Linkus and Zekas, you're fine. Yeah. Like, Linkus has, has flash and ult. Yeah, it was just... The, the bulk of the big wombo is on the solo laners, and they just did not get in there. Yeah. And then once, once IDL had time to, like, react and reposition, 
Yeah. Then it was like, they were just playing so, like, chicken. Like, they were just like, no, you have to ult. If, like, until the Yone and the Cannon ult, we are not going forward. Yeah. Yo, Bella. Hello, hello, friend. Hello, Bella. Hello, all. How have you been? How is Havala casters going? Y'all covering the uh, Goddess Cup? Uh, the IDL, I mean, they played that role really well, too. And, and for Ryze, too, they didn't have to lose Zekas in the back end. If they just retreated properly, but Zekas, like, wandered off on his own. Yeah. It, not a huge thing. The, losing the Dragon, I think, was way more painful for Ryze than losing Zekas, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Hello, you're okay. That's good to hear. Yeah, I saw that uh, you and um, Vodan were posting that y'all are on Leakpedia now. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. Mama, I made it. <laughs> Did a WP for Goddess Tour in English as well? Oh, hell yeah. Nice in Portuguese and in English now. Yeah. Yeah, IDL last game had a very beautiful Baron bait. Oh. Okay, that Malkai ult was a bit early, but it's fine. And Spanish as well. Three different languages, well. I'm, I'm so impressed. Actually, as somebody who speaks both Spanish and Portuguese, do you ever get confused between the two? Because, like, things are somewhat similar, but also very different. <laughs> You're not talking to me, are you? Uh, no, to Bella. Because okay, okay. you don't okay. speak Spanish, do you? I don't, yeah, I don't. Exactly. Okay. I was making sure. Because Bella said she's also cast in Spanish, so it's like, yeah, three different languages. Yeah, well, it's one, yeah, it's one thing to speak, it's another thing to cast in a certain language. That is, True. That is different. I, I keep waiting for Ideal to set up that split push in Isle, but I feel like every time I look down, Isle is not able to push out. He's actually just got shoved in by Zekas. Uh, hell? Oh, another great ult. Can they, can they bear it? Oh, they are shooting sure this. Yeah, they are ripping through it. And they got shrimp too. Okay. I was trying to find turrets on the other end, but... Yuki! He's just trying to stall. They're just trying to buy space. Oh, well, actually, maybe. Oh, we're just stalling for IL, I see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's an inhibitor. Oh, okay, no, Takui dying there, that was just yeah. egregious. Like, Yuki was fine. Y Yuki was doing the team yeah, thing. Yeah, that, that's, that's what you're supposed to do as a support. <laughs> yeah, Takui going down there is not okay. Damn. Damn, okay, well, at least the waves are in a favorable position, so Ryze kind of made it, they pushed. We'll see what they can do. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take out my laundry one sec. Okay, no rush. Uh, Bella, between us, it's very different. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I know, like, 4-4 still means it's very different in the boss. Um, but I, like, yeah, as a non-Portuguese or Spanish speaker, I feel like it's easy to get confused with these days. I was just kind of curious. Uh, you yeah, sometimes have a hard time distinguishing where they're from because of the accents. But all of them know that you're Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> it's like British English and American English. Like it's all English, but you can tell right away. I didn't even notice earlier, it's Ocean Soul. This is really bad for IDL if Rise pick up Ocean Soul. The Polcom kind of falls apart at that point, and you can't team fight. Really unfortunate turn of events for IDL. Loki, I kind of wish they'd show you what soul you get in draft. Like, first two dragons, I don't care, but the soul itself can be very, very powerful. Like, if you see Chemtech, you might want to pick more bruisers. If you see Cloud, you want to comp that actually can make use of that speed. You see Ocean, you're not going to pick a full comp. <laughs> oh, this dive is risky. Damn, never mind, it's not. Okay, I lied. Yeah, I think it's kind of over. If you can just melt shrimp like that under a turret with the Sigil Arrow, Rice can just dive anybody. 
jogada criada de novo pelo atirador. Equipe da Rise. That was what? Two? Three turrets? Duas torres. Até o presente momento. Two turrets, I think, from Rise in that push. With Baron. Not, not the best, not the worst. Pretty impactful Baron. Plus 5.5k. That's huge. Yeah, it literally means that the majority of the gold lead we're seeing on screen right now is straight off the Baron buff. Like before that, they were pretty much even. But this is so bad for IDL when there's such a big gold lead. Io can't split push now. You can't hold against a, a five man from Rise. Like Rise can just group up his five and, and shove a lane. They could probably even just get in hips as a group of five. Vamos acompanhar e ver o que que a Rise faz agora. Eles fizeram um power play muito forte, então 7 mil de ouro na frente. É vira vira porque a Nice Idea still have pretty good vision. Viu que estava querendo voltar uh, base. Ele disse que ele estava chamando, se ele realmente queria voltar à base por ali. O lance é que a ideia dele ter quatro jogadores para defender essa parte superior do mapa. Rise só três. Oh, you're so proud of Rise Gaming. You did many games with them in tier 3 and they always dominated. They deserved the spot in the academy. Oh, 100% agree. Like they they were doing really really well as a team. I really like that they always seem to understand the assignment and how their comps are supposed to work. Uh, like it's rare that they don't play to how their comp wants to play. They always had this game self making most of enemies errors. Yeah, I, in, in Academy too, it's kind of interesting because I feel like Pain and Furia Academy, Furia Academy especially, don't give you that many mistakes to work with, but like IDL is the opposite. <laughs> Ideal plays high pressure, which means like when when they have a lead, if you don't respond well, they will close out the game. Ooh. And that's the first error I've seen Kakashi miss. But on the other hand, they also take a lot of risks. So, last game, Ideal managed to pressure and then went off the pressure. This game, yeah, they they made the mistake and Rise is punishing for it. Actually. Bella, when you used to cast um, Rise, was it this roster with Sting and Linkus, or was it the one with like Anato and um... Oh. Damn. If IDL was closer in gold, that would actually be a good fight. Ooh, Linkus. If not for the gold lead, IDL would have won that fight right there with that pick. But that's like a 7,500 gold, kind of big. The threat of Zekka's flank too is keeping IDL from pushing on the damage to put down. Oh, good dodge on the arrow. It's low, but Zekka's in. Oh, the burn. Yeah, running for the hills. Oh, with all the words, they are cut off from home right now. Okay. Oh. One for one, not bad. <laughs> nice, that was really well played from Linkus. It cut him from that angle. Really nice. Okay, this is Rise game. I do not think IDL can actually get back to this game at this point. It's too big a gap. <laughs> uh, do I need to turn? You know, I'll turn them down a little bit. Um, and then yeah, I'll turn it up if need be. Uh, oh yeah, I was asking um for this uh Rise Gaming Squad. When do you cast them in tier three? Was it this roster with like Zeka, Sting, Linkus, Kakashi, and Bounty, or was it like with like Anato and Alone? Because I think Sting has been amazing, uh, stepping in for Anato. Alone was really good though. I, I don't know if I rate Link is above Alone. I'm not sure. Link has been doing well this series though, and in playoffs, so. Huge credit to him. Oh. If Ideal loses Dragon, it's just salt on the wound. I, I don't think it changes too much for them. They're still down 10k gold, up against a Baron up team. Uh, you've got an open inhibitor you can't even defend. Topside Inner's about to drop at a sneeze. 
agora, defender esse ataque que vem perigoso, vem pesado pela Bright. Vai vir com certeza, porque eles vão ter o Wait, and he played for the Bright squad? That's funny. And Morius? Wait, that's crazy. Wasn't Morius just with uh, uh, Kate Stars Academy the entire time? That's nuts. That's kind of cool, though, that Rice got it, uh, Morius. Morius had a stellar game yesterday. Absolutely massive. Dude, the Avengers in Tier 3. <laughs> Somewhat ironic when there is a player called Avenger. <laughs> but he wasn't on the roster, it was Annie instead. Okay, oh, so it's the Avengers. Yeah, they, they got wiped. Damn. It was a standoff in the mid lane. I'll, I'll replay it after the game. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Do, do what you gotta do. Yeah. I mean, I'm expecting this game to be over as soon as Rice just buckle up, group up, and push. Yeah. Literally, I don't think I've seen at all this game IDL actually set up poke and play it slow. Like, the, this this poke idea here just never happened. At best, they got picks. Like, player got some good picks, but... Uh, I think Sting and Zekas had an amazing game. I'm probably still MVP. I think Kakashi or Zekas, I think. I think he said some good moments too, but... Yeah, just group up and push and end. Thank you. Okay, we're one to one. Sting is a menace, dude. Yeah, yeah. Shivana as a whole is so annoying. Yeah, no, once she gets rolling, it's just like, what do you do against this champ? Yeah. Like, it's like Mundo, just kind of oh, goes goodness. where she pleases. Yeah, and the AoE damage she spews out too in these fights is Lord, ridiculous. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's messed up, man. 100%. Holy smokes. Absolutely disgusting. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> Flash in damage just like yours, but it doesn't exist. <laughs> Damn. Kind of true. I mean, Flair, Flair did an incredible job uh, with picks, but that had nothing to do with his damage. The, the Jin, yeah, really didn't pan out. Mr. Helpful at his finest. Uh, I think... Is it this fight? No, this wasn't the fight that broke the game open. This is the first Baron fight. Did you see the first Baron or no? I saw the first Baron, yeah. Okay, this is the first Baron, so... Um... That was the other fight. It was like a mid lane standoff thing where for a second it looked like Ideal had a chance and then. They just kind of got. They just keep getting like little, little bits like all around the map. Okay, YouTube doesn't let me skipping around on too long a timeline video. <laughs> it's like lagging out. <laughs> yeah, this is one of them. Okay, okay, okay. A true Lunar, you did say 3-1. Uh, like, like we said, all the predictions are live right now. Yeah. If Ideal oh. just had a bit more damage, if, if yeah. they weren't behind by like 6, 7k at this point. Yeah. That would have been Sting dead, that would have been Linka suiciding. Like, even now, they're actually not in a terrible position. Yeah, no, I think right now the fight just hinges on what does Zekas' ult look like. Yeah. But they, they dare not push in because of Zekka's assault. They couldn't capitalize on that, and then... Kakashi lands another... Oh, oh it didn't land it, but... Jump was done. Ooh. Yeah, rewatching this, I think I MVP Zekka's man. <laughs> His cannon had good value this game, and he managed... Yeah. And Io never really got to win, like, or dominate the 1v1 at any point. No. Like the Europe pick, if you're not winning 1v1, what are you picking for? <laughs> That's Kalissimus' voice. Zekas, Zekas, Zekas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I felt that in my soul. Zekas, Zekas, Zekas. Like, I can imagine that's IDL's call as they say Zekas rounding the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's a good shot off here. Yeah. Yeah, that's ball game. Yeah. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Ideal just makes too many mistakes. Uh, Bella was saying too that she cast a lot of Rise in uh, Tier 3, and mm. 
like this is what she knows them for is like just punishing mistakes really 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 well mm. it's funny too because yeah. i think it's like the ironically one of the worst matchups for ideal in a way because if, if that's how like um rise likes to play then ideal is going to give them mistakes they, they play high yeah. pressure no exactly yeah. Uh, fun fact, Zekas picked the first competitive Cassante in the world and you casted it. Nice. Wow, that's fun. Hell yeah. Yeah, I guess, I guess they did before Academy, huh? Yeah, uh, Return of the 404 and RMC forecast. Yes, to a certain extent, yes. Well, hopefully not. I mean, th this game had enough action that... Besides the early game being a little bit slow, yeah. Once it hit mid game, yeah. it was fine. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. I'm I'm curious if we are already starting to pull out things like Yorick for Io this early on. Where do we go from here? I don't know. I mean. It makes you wonder with Ayo, like, and maybe you can answer this question, how well can he actually play the meta picks? Yeah. This is comfort picks were the Pantheon, Olaf, and Aatrox. You couldn't pick Aatrox this game because Yone, uh, Yone got picked for pretty early. So if you Aatrox, you were just asking for a lane swap and to get booty blasted. And it's not like Kennen can't play into the chase either, so... Um, yeah, and then the Pantheon just, I assume, going to get permabanned as we go on. So. Yeah. <laughs> a bella podcast about Academy, you love it. I mean, we kind of do that just by like, sitting around chatting, uh, watching this. I would actually love for that to be more like Brazilian, Portuguese written content about Academy. That way I can Google Translate, because I'd love to know like more about their backstories for some of these players. Like, I know um, Dark Knight was telling me about, and Wilkes was telling me about um, Zekas and how, like, his, the Gillette thing, and how he's, like, the villain in that. And he's improved so much. Zekas and Hidan probably are, like, two of the top laners who I kind of didn't like coming into this year, like, uh, from the previous performances in C-Below, but they're looking really nice in Academy. Uh, Lunar can tell about LPL. I do not watch enough LPL. I only watch, like, the occasional game. Though, Mazel used to have a great podcast about the LPL. Too bad he's not doing it too much anymore. Yeah. Uh, Yorick is terrible in every situation. Uh, he, he has his places. I had high hopes for him, but I think just this was just uh, ideal not knowing how to execute the comp they drafted, which was isolate the top lane, give him space, and don't interrupt the rest of the map. Hello, you'd love to do something like this? Hell yeah. Actually, do y'all... I mean, do y'all do that for Havala, no? Havala does uh, co streams for Academy too, no? Uh, oh, Takui did more damage than I expected. But yeah, yeah I think... Zek is MVP. They, they are not the same. Like, last game... Was it last game? Yeah, the Ezreal for um, Flair did a lot of damage. And that wasn't poke damage. A lot of the damage from Takui this game is poke damage. Which just didn't count because... Yeah. Didn't convert to anything. And then Ocean Soul became an issue. An issue. Yeah. Uh, you do co-streams but not podcasts. Ah. Yeah, you also just set up a podcast. <laughs> For Academy. I mean, that's why everybody does podcasts, right? Like, everybody in the mothers. <laughs> just need some friends and just sit around and chat. They get to <laughs> Man, I suck at calling this. I was like, in game, I was like, yeah, Zekas did a great job, but Kakashi was winning with the ultimates. I'd MVP Kakashi. And then after the game, I'm like, I'd MVP Zekas. And then MVP Kakashi. <laughs> That's right. Is, is that a Sombento sponsorship? Oh, what? The logo on the right of their shirt. Esport Club Sombento? It is Sombento. Okay. Yeah. Wow, Son Bento has esports? They barely have a soccer team. What the fuck? <laughs> well, to be fair, esports is a lot cheaper than football. <laughs> yeah, but like. Wow. <laughs> it, it, where is Son Bento? Or what, what is. Son Bento's in it's, in. it's in Sao Paulo. But okay. I don't know exactly where in the state of Sao Paulo. Okay, okay. Just the way you're saying it, I was like, are they known for something no, special? No, well, well, no they're, they're just like they're just like really, really small, right? Like Corinthians, <laughs> Flamengo, Santos, Cruzeiro, like those are giants. They're all just behemoths of the, the Brazilian game. São Bento is like, if you were to just power rank like all the teams in the country, São Bento maybe crack the top 100? 
That's what I'm surprised. I recognize the logo because they play in the in the uh, in in the Paulo Stone, like the the São Paulo State Pyramid. But like they they kind of bounce between the first and second division in in São Paulo, and only like five teams from São Paulo are in the top division nationally. So that's something unique about Brazilian soccer is like from essentially like from February to April, you play your state championships, and so there are state pyramids right promotion and relegation just within each state mm -hmm. and then there's a separate um there's a separate national pyramid and those two do not really interact they interact kind of because the, the fourth national division is like an open division almost it's like okay if you're not in the first three divisions how do you qualify for the fourth division well how did you do in your state tournament the year prior right so it's like for 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 smaller teams okay <laughs> Maybe some of that made sense. Maybe it didn't. No, it, it did. I'm just like, yeah, usually when like there's too much um, data, my, my head takes a while to like, process what you all are saying. Yeah, well, and, and, and when it's just like audio, like I, I'm not like, yeah, like it, it's almost, it's like when on, on podcasts, we will just throw like stats at you. Yes. And you have no visual, like it just 100%. goes right over your head. Yeah. That's why like, I try to only do like one stat at a time, like and not like throw out, spew out a whole bunch of stats and on broadcast. Yeah. But I used to have that problem. Uh, yeah, and it helps that uh, Bella kind of was like saying they're in C series of Brasileiro as well. I think um, they're I think they're in Seti D. They're they're not even in Seti C. <laughs> I believe it or not, Bella. I, I I keep up with the first three divisions, and the only reason I don't <laughs> is because the 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 app I use I have Global Sportsy on my on my phone, so through that I keep up with Seti D. But on the just like general soccer scores app I have, it goes only down to Seti C in in brazil but they're not even city city like they got they got bounced okay i'm gonna take a quick bio break right back and when rmc is back then i will i'm sweating my some bintos off i need to turn on the fan uh, when he comes back uh i will sort my laundry because i am a house husband and i've gotta I've gotta keep this ship uh keep this ship in order Yeah, they, they were in the in the Pali Stone um Seti Aun, right? But that was like a couple years ago. 4x4 VTuber one, this is my VTuber model. It's a lot cheaper too. It takes up a lot less RAM. Seti Adois, okay. Okay, well, that's good they didn't go down any further. So it was back in 2021, they got relegated from the Polystone. Let's see. Yeah, they finished with nine point. Yep, it was in 2021. Dude, my memory, I'm telling you, with some stuff, with some stuff. I distinctly remember my Glorioso Corinthians uh, were playing them in that. I think we, I think we drew with them. And I remember being in a restaurant in Nashville, because I was visiting my sister, I was telling my dad about it. Um, my sister went to school in Nashville at the time, and I was like, "Well, we visited her then." That trip, I remember, was in either twenty, I think, in twenty twenty one. So it was like right after the pandemic, some of the restrictions started loosening up. So that is my uh, my link to it. Not that anyone needed to know any of that, but this is a uh, this is what you get when RMC is taking a leak, and I'm, I'm <laughs> left to fill time, and there's nothing on the screen to talk about. Yep, no, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> Better talking about flesh tubers. Also, I heard your comment that the VTuber models are uh, that your flesh tuber model is cheaper than a VTuber model. I don't know, man. You pay for I, I, I don't VTubers know once. Case. Your flesh tuber, you gotta feed that on the regular. You gotta work out. This you gotta is, put this, so much work for it. This is true. You gotta go to the gym. You gotta you gotta pay for health insurance in some way. Yeah. Yeah, and if you need more RAM, just download RAM. You know. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but 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 Bella, you have to know, Corinthians. It was not. It was not a choice. I was born into it. My whole my whole family <laughs> is. Corinthians, because my whole dad's side's American, right? So none of them knew anything. But then my mom's side, and so my dad's a Corinthians fan because when he met my mom, it was like, well, okay, you have to root for this team now if you want any chance of marrying, you know, Simone, who was the only. She had two brothers, so she was the only girl. Um, so my dad was like, okay, bet, I, sure, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want, Alcides, which is my my late grandpa's name. Um, and 
Yeah. And so I, 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 when I was born in Sao Paulo, they were like, oh, you know, all my, my little baby outfits and my bibs, they all just go to each other, go to each other. And I was like, okay, this is just what I do. Like, you know, so, so if, if I was born into a, a, a familia Vascaino, then I would have been Vascaino. Um, and I would have suffered a lot these last few years. But, um, but I'm, instead, I'm just suffering this year. Because Corinthians might get relegated this year. It's entirely possible. It would be crazy, but it is possible. Man, I just wish we had more promotion relegation in league. I like promotion relegation. It, it just adds more spice to it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it does. I was also born a Detroit fan. Exactly. I had no choice in it, but I'm loyal. <laughs> Got one of the first worst <laughs> fan bases. <laughs> incorrect and wrong. <laughs> Tell me, you'll no tell me you know nothing about either fan base without telling me you know nothing about either fan base. They're loyal <laughs> fan bases. All right? All right? Check it. We, got two, we got two ladies in the chat here. All right? Let me learn you something about men and their American sports teams. Okay? If your man roots for a long-suffering fan base like Detroit... Kodicha is not long-suffering. They're, they're a glorious team with immense history. They're a very successful team. If your man sticks with his sports teams through thick and thin when he doesn't have to, it's a green flag. Okay? True. Hey, uh, till death do us part, right? <laughs> Exactly. It's just a warm-up. Exactly. Enjoy my 0-17. I have no idea what you're talking about. We went 0-16 in 2008. And that was it. <laughs> I check, still remember that. <laughs> check your numbers, Ms. Ms. Day. You were scarred. Uh, Bella, I, I do need to come to Brazil. I do want to go to Brazil at some point. I actually almost went to Brazil this year. There was a cruise that was going down from... Uh, oh, where's it going down from? Somewhere in the States. I think it was New York or something. Um, and I was going to take it, except that it coincided with the first week of CB Law, and I went, screw it. <laughs> I'd rather cast CB Law. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah, there I you would go. want to watch the soccer match a lot. Oh, yeah, we play 17 now, but we're not going to go 0 and 17. I know that. <laughs> Ms. Day, Ms. Day, this is not a competition you want to have with me. All right. <laughs> Bren's in as well. Uh, Bren's a Columbus Blue Jackets boy since he's been born. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I don't know. I don't support any sports team since birth, I guess. Like, my... I wasn't born in Canada, so, like, I'm not a Canucks guy from, like, right from the get-go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, like, you know, if, we, if I do go to Brazil, like, there's a bunch of people I want to meet. You all, you all have been so welcoming and fun and friendly. I don't know. Fingers crossed, man. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to, like, try and follow up with some people about the Tier 2's Americas thing. I, I don't hold up much hope, but... Yeah. yeah, it'd be nice if we could. Yeah, same. I put some, uh, I put some feelers in, but I have yet to hear anything back. Yeah, I think tomorrow will be a week out from when it's supposed to start. So yeah, I'm gonna follow up tomorrow. Wow. I think I need to double check. <laughs> but... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sort my laundry real quick. One sec. Yeah, peace, man. Uh, we've got IDL on blue side. So it seems like every team, th this series at least, both teams prefer blue side because when they lose, they opt for the swap. Um, also, I would love to see a football match in Brazil because in the, the MLS, which is like the Major League Soccer, North America Soccer, kind of sucks. Um, I watched that live and I was very, very unimpressed. So. <laughs> my force folding laundry, but he's still staying in chat. Just <laughs> Luther, you're so triggered. In. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Um... Former drafts. There we go. So the Azir is going to be perma. I, I just, I suspect Rise is just going to perma ban uh, Azir, Ari, LeBlanc. This entire series, I don't think you just let any of them through. Tukui is too dangerous on them. If he was pulling half the crap he was doing on Jace, on the Ari or the LeBlanc, they would have won that game. Uh, on the other hand, Rise is changing things up again. Tristan Poppy. The only thing they're locking is, is Corky, which I find interesting, actually. Because Takui plays Corky. He's played it. Yeah, he played it three times. Okay, he has a 0% win rate on Corky. Okay, maybe not. Like, how many times did this match? Okay. Yeah, you all can tell me which teams. I know um, Steelers was trying to make me a Corinthians fan, so. <laughs> I assume Steelers will shop if you have me watch that. <laughs> Brent, don't insult the MLS bro. Columbus crew literally would have won Champions Cup if we haven't gone massive <laughs> poison at the foot of a month. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? And maybe Singapore would have won the uh, Season 2 Championship Finals of TPA if they didn't get food poisoning too. But it didn't happen, and they went downhill from there, so. <laughs> oh, Aurora! Damn, okay. Let's go IDL. Aurora is 100% win rate in CBL Academy. They won with it yesterday. 
I wonder if we see Nasus actually. I know we were talking about it in the uh, CBLO English public, like the, the community Discord. Um, and there's a lot of talk about Nasus. I can kind of see it. Sting gets his Lilia too, signature champ. This draft is kind of spicy already. Uh, is which one true, Bella? We've, we've been jumping a lot of topics, so. <laughs> I don't know where we're at anymore. Shrimp with the Lee Sin. Okay. I mean, he's done it before. It feels like he's kind of just going back to uh, comfort a little bit with the Lee Sin. He's, he's very good on it, to be fair. The food poisoning thing? <laughs> they did get food poisoning. Whether they'd have won without it, that I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Anaphelios. Wow. I don't know how I feel about this draft from him, IDL right now. It feels almost like we've just kind of defaulted to comfort picks at this point. Because, yeah, the, the Aphelios is something that Lair plays a lot of. He's very good at it. But it, it just feels like weird to come out at this point in the game. There's still other meta AD carries available. Kind of would have made it that far in Copa Laudio. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I can't even say no right now. Because I think they said that the men's side does it too or something like that when they did the investigation, so... Yeah. Um, okay, we've got Alistair, Nautilus, Leona, Rel all banned. So there's still Rakan. Braum got banned. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. If IDL bans the Braum, I think you gotta ban the Rakan as well. Amumu, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I think Ryzen just slammed the Rakan here, right? And take it off the board so that it can't be played by IDL going forward. And then after that, most of the engaged supports are off the table at that point. Yep. Perfect from Rise. Spot on. No way we're locking Ori here. I hate this from IDL. What is this? Oh man, Ooh, uh, uh, I hate this comfort my deal. I, I guess you go Galio as an answer to Rakan. It's not terrible. I just I, this comp as a whole just feels really awkward. Like you are a, a perfectly fine front to back composition. I guess you've got skill on your side, but in general, I just don't like what I'm seeing from this. Uh, four and four. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll leave for first comment. That's obviously just between you and Lunar at this point. For Mumu, yeah. Uh, friend, yes, the Columbus crew got massive food poisoning. He literally vomited in the sidelines at 2,000 feet ele elevation. The team we lost to, Pachuca, just came to Canada for the League's Cup. We got beaten by Toronto FC. <laughs> yeah. Imagine being food poisoned and pressure on stomach. Yeah, the lack of oxygen too is probably going to make it worse. Uh, okay, Brent's comments to 404. Lunar to 404. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Y'all yo, yo, yo can... Discuss your bets on the side. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. I do not follow the ball. Okay. Oh, a run soul. Wait, let me screenshot again. I forgot. I was reading chat. Okay. Yeah, I really like the Rise Gaming comp. I think in general, this entire series, I have generally preferred the Rise Gaming drafts. I think they're more cohesive. They're more internally... Uh... Yeah, they're just, I think in general, really solid compositions coming through. Now, yeah, I think just in general, this this game, IDL has to mechanically outperform. I don't see how they're going to play the later game into this comp. Like, Aurora into Renekton's fine. R Aurora does well into a lot of these melee champions in the top lane. Um, Ori into Aesol is actually not bad. Uh, Ori generally does well into champions that want to be static and just stand there. But the scaling from Aesol is just going to outdo anything Oriana can do. Uh, bot lane, the Kaiser Rakan into a fellow's Galio is pretty good too. Yes, Galio can peel. That will be massive later on. We'll have to see how that kind of works, but the laning is going to be a little bit rough. And the jungle matchup. 
Lilia just out massively outskills Lee Sin. Like, Shrimp has to have early, uh, an incredible early game. And after... Is it the last game? No. Uh, after the first game... I mean, I, I kind of have the confidence that Shrimp can have a good early game. But if this goes late, even with the Aphelios and Aurora, I don't really like IDL zones. I just don't think these two do that well into Aurelian Soul. Uh, Bella Oren Soul here is a little risky. He skills a little later than Oriana and can cost game. True. Uh, that's, yeah. If IDL, if they can get off the ground running, that'll be good. But to, to balance out that point, Ace, uh, uh, not Aesol, um, Aphelios and Aurora both need time to scale as well. So I feel like that buys the Aurelian Soul enough time. Sure, he will still take longer, but... Yeah, I'm not confident that IDL can close out that fast. They are not the cleanest team at it, at playing to the power spikes. They tend to fight too early. Very respectfully, Oriana just sucks this patch and has for many patches. I wouldn't say she sucks, sucks, but yeah, she's definitely not meta. Uh, that's why we pretty much only exclusively see her paired with Nocturne. Unless you're Kate Stars. And Kate Stars just picks Oriana for some odd reason. That makes it work. I mean, Takui and Linkus, both of them went through the Kate Stars system, so... Okay, 4 4 Luna, the bet is notarized. Yep, uh, it's here. Yep, uh, it's it's witness, it's on stream, it's permanent. Because uh, the, these VODs do get uploaded to CB Law English and to my own channel, so mm -hmm. they will exist in perpetuity. Yeah, and, and if the Bears or the Vikings win the division, then we can both just kind of bury our heads in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> or both of you all should change your profile pics to, to one of you. Yeah, or, or both of us. Where. Yeah, eh, yeah, yeah, maybe not. Eh, <laughs> Understand? It's still a safe pick or then to himself. Yeah, exactly. Um, if the Bears win, we all need to hit to a fallout shelter because the world is ending. Uh, and for four years, you'd seem that would require multiple national tragedies and a lot of injuries and <laughs> maybe IRL death. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I, th I think the Bears are going to be sneaky. I think they'll come in third. I think they'll come in third. I think the Packers will come in second. Lions win. But the Packers, I think, will still make the playoffs. They're good enough. I'm happy for you, or I'm sorry to hear that. Didn't read too long, not in that sport. Convert, <laughs> I, it, to, I, I, convert I, it to CB Law terms and maybe I'll get involved. <laughs> it stink? Yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> I love it when Lilius do this. Steal away Raptors, because they can do it really, really fast. Oh, yeah, that's like their thing, right? Yeah. Ooh, bounty. Holy Ooh. crap. Wait, what? Yo, that's actually shocking. Like, generally, okay, Aphelios' first set of guns is, like, his worst set of guns in terms of trading. You've got Calibrum and Severum, which is, like, okay, you've got heal and you've got range. Neither of great, uh, neither are great for early trades, but Yuki, damn, that taunt was spot on. Oh, Shrimp got spotted. Okay. That's fine. I mean, Sting stole away his rip-off, too, so... Are they going to contest in Raptors? Lilia likes to fight on Raptors because she can regen a bit more with her passive on it. She's not a great duelist, but... Oh, Sting's too late, I think. Oh, no. Damn, okay. Wait, we flash for this Sting? You're trolling. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, Sting trolled. Like you, oh. wait. Are they gonna replay? Please replay. Or uh, I, I have the man replay that. There's no way they didn't see Takui rotating out. Okay, I'm, I'm out of patience. <laughs> like no way. Yeah, right there. The wave is crashing. You saw Takui walk off the wave. In what world? Are you chasing the lease in? Yeah, I wasn't looking. Only. No explanation. Oh, nice. And Link is just TP back to lane too, so like he literally just could not follow. Okay. I'm crying. Sting, Sting. Yeah, Sting is a good player, but and like, st this is Sting's Lilia. He was the first guy to start whipping out. You know, even before Lilia was really back in meta, he still had it as a pocket pick. Okay. I don't know why I, Rise is playing so aggressively. This feels like if you turn off nameplates, I would tell you that IDL is in Ritzite right now. Yeah. Like, why are we turbo sprinting this? Both Lilia and Aesol need time to scale. 
matou meu Xing. Ele morreu na parte de cima, resetou, tentou invadir, morreu de novo. Não tem mais okay. nada uh, Bren, I saw that you have a, a chat that I want to read, but I'm just waiting for it to catch up first, because if I don't, it stutters when it hits uh, live. Yep, there we go. <laughs> There's something right there. Okay, in CB Law terms, the Packers are pain gaming. Okay, I guess I'm a Packers fan now. Ugh, RMC. <laughs> Disgusting. That's the worst thing in the world. He's right, but that's the worst thing in the world. Uh, uh, good no, the, li the Lions, I was going to make a Liberty comparison, honestly. Like, historically, just a, a joke franchise. A joke, inept, sorry excuse for an NFL franchise. But we had we had maybe our best teams. But the thing is, the Lions, they won a bunch of titles. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just enjoying watching Yuki right now. Yuki's Galio is so good. He he got them that kill, and he dominated the bot side. Yeah. Okay. This Oriana might not be useless, but continue on lines. Yes. Yeah, it'd be like if uh. Yeah, we've got like kind of one, you know, our our best because because thing is before the NFL was the NFL before it was the Super Bowl, right? Like. Okay. It was just called the the NFL Championship. So this is before like the AFL NFL merger, back in the late fifties. In the five years before that, the Lions won two or three championships. So before before the Lions have never won a Super Bowl, but right before it was called the Super Bowl, we had a pretty good stretch there. But even if it had been called the Super Bowl, point is we have not won a title in seventy years. Um, so more than liberty, INTZ. Yes, if INTZ won all their titles in like nineteen ninety nine, that's how far the like. <laughs> the relative time scale is um yeah I, as we we right now are liberty if the winning is sustainable if like you know had the one good split now they're everybody's they're your favorite team's favorite team you know Has liberty Opa? won any splits no um so i don't know i guess it's maybe like it's <laughs> oh it's you know you're, you're riding off like oh the one vorax split kind of but the Lions have also never even been to a Super Bowl. We've never won a Super Bowl. We've never even been to a Super Bowl. Yeah, I guess. So, it's a toughie. But yeah, the, the point is that the main comparison of Liberty is a lot of bad for a long, long time. Sure, then you really need lo uh, loyalty there. Yo, Soph, welcome, welcome. Joe and Soph, glad to hear. Yeah. Um... Yeah, th this game has gone south for Rise. They they start pushing when they didn't need to, and now, like we, we talked about, IDL as a high pressure team. If you give them a lead, they're gonna start running. Now they might trip and fall, but if they don't, they will run you over. Yeah, thanks, Sof. Yeah, even between yesterday and today, like it's like night and day. Yesterday I was still like really really scratchy. Today, yeah, I'm approved. Hopefully, I'll be all fine for this weekend because I definitely do want to cost some games. It's been like two weeks since I cost below. I'm undergoing patrol. <laughs> and meanwhile, being a Blue Jackets fan, you don't even get a story in history. You're just a clown fiesta. Ah, do you spend money? In which case, Los Grandes? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so uh, we're four and four and Luna were getting into it with um football, like American football reference stuff. <laughs> we ended up trying, and I don't follow at all American football, so I asked for it in CB law terms. If not, I would not understand. So yeah, um, Ooh, Deadpool Wolverine movie. Let us uh, let us know how it is. I think I've I've heard I've heard mixed reviews. Hey, yeah, I think Orbitals watched it. He said it was good. I think. But yeah. yeah, some people, the people that I've heard opinions on it, either thought it was really good or really bad. There didn't seem to be kind of an in-between take on it. Yeah, but I feel like anything with Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds together. Like... It, yeah, I, I think it's hard to be bad. Yeah, I think yeah. It, um, one balanced take I heard on it was like, if like, it didn't have to be as long as it was, but like, if you, if you go into it kind of like, oh, like, let it be what it's going to be, you know? Like, it's not going to be like this, like, oh, like this all time or super movie. It's like, no, like, you, you go there, you you laugh at some, you know, some silly jokes and then you get out. Like, it's not it's not, not supposed to blow your mind. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Ryan, I'm also biased. Ryan Reynolds is Canadian after all. Vancouver boy, too. Mm -hmm. Ah. 
Yeah, I think he went to Hollywood, uh, Hollywood North. Killarney? That's his high school? I, I remember he's mentioned it before. I was like, oh, hey, I know this school. <laughs> Los Grandes accurate. You got Johnny Goudreau, who's basically the PRTD of football. <laughs> yes. You, you seen the Deadpool movie already, Litter? Good, bad. They're super hyped because of their collab with Stray Kids, the K-pop band. Oh. oh. I know nothing about K-pop. The, the only thing I know about K-pop is KDA. <laughs> Real. <laughs> That's new jeans now. <laughs> Racist Riddle, for fun movie, not a game changer. Nice, okay. I'm fine with that. You know what would be a game changer if we didn't freaking have pauses <laughs> in TV Low Academy. Well, when did they start playing in Arena, by the way? Like in the actual Arena? Is it just Grand Finals again? I do not know. That's a, that's a question for uh, for the gang. Yeah, because Grand Finals is the is like on a separate weekend, whereas I think last split they did like third place and Grand Finals at the same weekend or something. So they actually got to play more than one series. Essa falha veio lá para os 10 minutos ao redor do primeiro arauto ou das segundas vai chegar. Queria só o K-pop, yeah. Agreed. Queria is actually legit. Riot, please make more music. Like you are a great music making company, great production company. Uh, Academy is pause central, yeah. They pause more than freaking NACL, the North American side, and they pause the trap ton. Very frustrating. Unfortunately, like, not well. Okay, on the bright side, I guess right before the pause, nothing was happening either. Like they had just reset off a of play, so it's not like we're because usually when there's a pause, we miss a little bit, but there's nothing here to miss. I don't think. Uh, well, that's annoying. Uh, four, yeah, no objectives up anytime soon. Ideal is just dominating. Yeah. So at least it won't miss anything. Yeah. This is the podcast portion of the stream. Actually, unironically, if so, if you want to hop in, <laughs> start recording Gringo's Live Rounds early, <laughs> and then we'll get Trajan tomorrow. <laughs> Who's your bias? Mine is Han. What is? Oh, bias is like your favorite person in a band, like or in a hip hop group. Is that what a bias is? You're going on to Yeah. Again. It, so it was turned out like th this is an open channel for anybody on the CV Law English. Like, like I'm just in the CV Law production server. So anybody who has access, like, can just drop in. That goes for you too, Brian. Like, feel free to just hop in and chat. That's why I do it in here, like, <laughs> that people can just hop in. Yeah, no, that's right, you are busy. You do, like, super vibe too, right, so. And Pokemon Unite. I'm, my busyness is just watching VODs and trying to keep up with all the various leagues. I don't know how, like, Luna, I don't know how you watch the LPL, LCK, CBLOL, and CBLOL Academy all. Like, that feels insane to me. I can barely keep up with CBLOL, CBLOL Academy, LCS, and NACL. Ah, his favorite. Ah, uh, yeah, his favorite person in the band. Got it. Yeah, you joined Fuchs early. Yeah, you did. Thank you, so I try, I try. But that's also why like, I can't watch too many because I actually need to fully parse what's happening most of the time. Okay. Um. Just double checking that we didn't miss anything. No, still same. Ideal is still pressuring up in every single flipping lane right now. Interestingly, Zek is actually doing really well into Isle, surprisingly. Like, I thought the uh, range melee should have resulted in a much bigger advantage for Isle. And I think now that Sting has calmed down a little bit, like, if Ryze play defensive, IDL. It's not as easy to kind of punish. Oh, as I say that, they play aggressive. <laughs> yeah, onto the Galio. It's not. I don't know, man. Like, yes, we get the flash out of Yuki and heal. No sums on Yuki. But you burn. Uh, Kaisa out and Aurelian out. And without Aurelian out, I don't think you can contest with Void Grubs. Maybe Sting's ult will be enough, but I, I'm not liking those odds. Atakui burned his ult, I guess. So. Uh, I, I don't know what the pause was for, unfortunately. 
Maybe they mentioned it in Portuguese, but I was skipping around, so <laughs> I don't think Parpo could have caught it off the shroom. Um, Lunar LPL, LCS, CBL, LEC, PCS, VCS. Okay. So not the LCK, but basically everything else. You're nuts, Lunar. Oh, so you do watch the, P the, L the LEC, uh, LEC and PCS and PCS mods, yeah. You watch, even watch the Greek League? Wait, that's EMEA Masters, right? <laughs> okay, free Void Grubs for IDL. They got Void Mites. They're just going to keep ratcheting up the pressure. Okay, I don't know what the pause was for so, but it looks like whatever it was, it was an IDL side, because all the players disconnected again. Ah, yeah, that'll do it. On one hand, I don't like to see Ryze just sit back and let the game happen to them, because the scaling from Aurora and Aphelios can be kind of scary. But on the other hand, I don't think they have a choice. This dragon, I, I don't think they're good item-wise positioned to try and fight for this. Long time ago, Bella, yeah. That was a decent league. A lot of young talent went through there. Wait, how was the talent for EMEA? Uh, the split. I've heard some people say it's not good, but I don't know if they're joking when they say it. Because I think mean, Europe did produce a lot of uh, talent through their tier twos. Nesse jogo de Cabo de Guerra, quem saiu oh, antes foi o Zecas. E aí, tá stepping up so aggressively. Uh, purple and blue guns for Flare. Those are pretty good guns to fight on. Gravitum and Infernum. Yeah, we are fighting this. Oh, Zekas? Yeah, but Infernum's just ripping them a new one. Yeah, that that was everything I feared. Oh, maybe. No. Okay, Sting lives. Not a total disaster, but definitely higher than a magnitude for. <laughs> That's kind of rough. Yeah, it's not... Like, Ryze kind of played that right, too. Like, they managed to layer the CC. Zeka's got a great flank. Oh. Yeah. You just force the fight when you're not ready. The Aesol hasn't scaled yet. Uh, Flare is pretty strong. Shrimp is pretty strong. Shrimp died, but he managed to get enough damage off first. And now, Takui and Flare are fed. That's going to be enough to carry them through mid-game. I.E. first item for Aphelios. Yeah, if he's got Infernum, forget the whole red, white, don't fight thing. It's literally just Infernum. Busted and broken. Uh, Lunar, there's minimal talent in EM. Yay. It's all retreads and old players, even older Koreans. Ah, uh, they've switched to the, uh, what did CP always call it? The um, barrage mode of tier 2 now? Unfortunate. Well, I guess that's always going to be the, the, the thing with tier 2, right? Like you'll have periods of a lot of talent, and then you have periods of like resting older talent while the new talent's building up. Well, we're 14 minutes in, and there's bounty, there's objective bounties for Ryze. Nice. Okay, Zekas, walk away. Walk away, Zekas. G give it to Linkus. I think he took too long to base. He's going to get the gold split. Yep, he gets gold split. That's got to be the worst possible timing for basing from Zekas. Oh. Maybe not, he got back in time. Wait, does Nikas live here? No shot. Linkus actually got out by TPing. Damn. 
Nah, that time. Hold on. I just want to quick double check. Like, is that because did he see them coming when he based? <laughs> yeah. So they did. They did see Io. Um, on the ward. That to me is a mistake from Zekas. Like, just stick around, man, and back up Linkas. That could have been a kill. Or at least you all would have all gotten out alive. Thanks. Oh, one for one, and Ryze gets uh, objective bounty at least, so I don't think the gold gap necessarily grew. grew. So. Is what it is. And Link is not dying, it's massive. He gets to pick up more waves top two. Uh, Bren, you're running the running the Rifts Defined tournament this weekend. Nice. Congrats, congrats. Like, you're yeah, organizing the whole thing? What are we grouping up here for? No drag for a minute and a half. We're just looking for picks, I guess. Yeah, then we're just going to overload bot side as IDL, get the free turret. That's a good position to be in. Mid and bot down. Actually, all the outers down. Okay. IOTP. Oh my goodness. Link has got wow. nuked. Uh, Oriana, bad guys. <laughs> What's that out for Mayo, though? <laughs> I feel like a misclick. Oh? Oh, you got jabated. Oh, my shrimp. Oh, okay, I thought shrimp was actually going to live for a second. That's like no shot. And Takui gets another kill. He doesn't need more kills, guys. Give it to Flair. Man, I yeah, not a control. Yeah, I, I swear. Oriana's not that good, I swear. It's just freaking Takui and Kate Stars in general somehow keep making this champion look broken. It's so messed up. Uh, so, how is Aurora doing? Uh, this game, kind of meant to be honest. Like, the 2 and 5 is more just from the rest of the team having good team fights. Uh, in CB Low Academy, kind of meant to be honest. But it has 100% win rate and probably still will after this game. So... It's the exact opposite of CBO, <laughs> where there's been some good Aurora games, but it just cannot win. Excuse me. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't... The idea from Rise wasn't bad, but if you can't picture him now, like, I don't think you can do anything for the next 10 minutes at all. And you're going to lose an Infernal Soul at the rate. I think I'll have this in the bag. It's funny thinking about the fact that Ayo's playing Aurora Bella. Wait, why? Is is see this is this is information I'd like to know because like why is it weird for Ayo to be playing it? Is does he like hate range champions or something? I think, like, when it comes to Isle, I don't particularly have like an image in my head except for just weird champs. Like, <laughs> yes, didn't he play the vein? Or no, no, wrong person. Zekas played the vein. Never mind. Yeah, because right now, like, the weirder the champion or the less we see it, the more I feel like, oh, I was playing it. Okay. <laughs> Which could be completely wrong. Muito forte, muito intensa. Pode ser fatal nesse ponto. A gente vê o avanço já na selva aqui, justamente buscando essa luta. E o Bounty tá indo pra cima. Oh, Yuki and Takui, man. This combo of Yuki and Takui is disgusting. It shouldn't be this good. That's so messed up. It, they should not be this good, man. Uh, so, would I like to interview Dinka's. Oh. Would, would Dinka take the interview in English? 
I could be there with you just in case. Do it, do it, do it. All right, cool. Here, yeah, so mark him down. Mark him down. We'll see him there at 7 I, It's not that he can't make it. It's not. It's, he's not debating scheduling. I know that. Yo, like, I, oh, what do I, I have don't know. If, I don't know about people to talk in front of him, man. Not gonna lie. You're gonna be fine. As much as I think Tinoz has been like the best mid laner, like I've always liked him because even when he was on loud, <laughs> Tinoz was the <laughs> thing. He just seems like such a vivacious guy. He does. He's uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'll see, very... I'll see you there at 7.30. <laughs> okay. I was very aggressive about playing his mains are Pantheon, Renekton, and Nar sometimes. Okay. And he used to be the carry. Well, yeah, I don't know about the aggressive part for Aurora, but I do feel like she can be a carry. So, yeah. I don't know about her laning, though. I'm still not completely sold on Aurora. Because a lot of times, like, when I've seen her in, like, the LPOL and stuff, like, she... Her laning seems like not that impressive. It's more like what she does in the team fights. Um, whereas in Brazil, <laughs> it's kind of the opposite. She's been winning lanes because she's ranged, and then the team fights have been very hit or miss. I feel like in CBL. Just to praise. I will definitely help craft questions for sure, but. <laughs> if I pass out trying to talk to Dinka for our ticket, <laughs> I got you. Don't, don't worry, RMC. I'm, I'm gonna be there holding your hand the whole way. Uh, I remember when I got to interview across the other two, I was actually like super nervous. <laughs> yeah, but Vital was chill, Vital was nice, but uh, <laughs> I guess like some of the old school players, I yeah, true, yeah, he is a baby. Now, to be fair, all the players have been really nice. Uh, at least the ones I've yeah. had a chance to uh, interact with have all been really, really nice. So. Yeah, I guess it's just like the ones that, you know, when we first started following CB LOL and they were like already established and like big, you know. Yeah. On the back of my mind, I, I still just like, yeah, look up to them a lot. So. Oh. Yo, you, Yuki just can't die! They engaged four man into Yuki, and Yuki's like, I want more of this. <laughs> Literally turned back into the fight. That's disgusting. That's support Galia, by the way. Yeah, they're, they're just so far ahead, dude. 11k at 23 minutes. Like, wrap yeah. it up, go next. And a lot of this is just from Ryze trying to make plays. Like, Ryze just needed to chill. If you're drafting Lilia, Aurelia, and Sol, like, we are waiting for 30 minutes to be aggressive and actually start looking for fights. Anything before that is just, like, being opportunistic and better macro play, which we didn't see this game. Oh. Raw. Raw. There we go. <laughs> so, on the back of my head, part of me was like, and now Yuki's going to come in. And now Yuki's going to I, I, I thought for a second, I'm looking at the, like, I was looking around, like, the rest of the map. I'm like, all right, yeah. where, where is everybody? <laughs> I guess IDO just don't want IO to carry this game. <laughs> okay. This is a 5v4. And I still don't... Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Yeah, they're not really getting onto Link, is. I gotta be careful. Well, there, no one's getting onto Flare either, so... Yep. Dragon's doing more damage to Flare than anybody else this game. Yeah. That's fine. Sheesh. Yuki gets a kill. He deserves it. Okay, that, that's a wrap. That's why. I don't know what the hell we just witnessed this game. This was not... Like, after two close games, Ryze just decided we are tired, I guess. Yeah, I guess. That was... Yeah, this one... It's odd. Like, I can excuse them. The, the first fight was already not great, but I can excuse that. Like, mistakes happen. But they just kept opting over and over and over again for these. Like, it's only 25 minutes in, guys. Your comp is not even online yet. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Dinkus has that Rio accent. Oh, I cannot tell accents apart. Portuguese. I know he speaks some English because we've we've definitely heard him speak English before. Yeah, we, well, we had him on the uh, on the official English broadcast when that was a thing. Oh, oh yeah, we did, we did, we did. Yeah. Yeah, and he was like, 
He was like, yeah, I love CB Law English. I tell my friends to watch. Like, he yeah, was, he was very cute. I think he came in the, the next day into uh, into the Twitch chat. Yeah, yeah, and he was like lurking in the chat and stuff. Like, yeah. I, his English is definitely like more than passable. Yeah, sure, sure. But again, you know, like, and I don't blame the guy if he's like, ah, if it's an interview, maybe not. But like, he'd he'd be fine if he really had to. But I'll just be there just in case. Where's the damage rise? I don't know. I've been asking that all game too. Um, it's strange because they stopped asking. Yeah, it's just really, really weird that they kind of switch off <laughs> accurate accent. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, I think so. Oh yeah, dude. Hey, look, look. I, of the kiddo's accent. <laughs> my, 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 my dear mother, who I talk to almost every day, she has that accent. <laughs> oh, okay. So she's from Rio too. <laughs> well, no, no. She. It's just the uh, like the uh, Brazilian speaking English. Oh, accent. okay, okay, okay. I was wondering, like, yeah, there's like a different. It's like, like the, the T's are pronounced like CH's, right? So like when you say "want to," it's "I want you," right? Like, like the "want to" that that like stop doesn't happen. And it's like stuff uh, like that. It almost sounds like you. I want you. <laughs> I want yeah, you. yeah, I want you. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, boo. Okay. Uh, we we heard back. Apparently, he prefers, prefers to do the interview in Portuguese. So. Ah. Uh. So I'll just I'll craft the questions for before and I'll send you. Okay. As as per usual, you can you know decide which ones you want to use and whatnot. All right, all right. Do you convey my love to him though? I, I, I... <laughs> oh, I still cry. I forgot to turn off my tears here. I'll put hearts in my eyes. Not not for this game though. <laughs> this this game has been. No, no, this game we're in podcast mode for this game. It's fine. Yep, hundred percent. Yeah, like my my my, my last load of laundry is gonna be done soon. I'll just pop out. Like I'm not gonna miss anything. It's fine. Yeah. In fact, I'm actually a little bit surprised we're not further into Rise's base at this point. From yeah, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, but it's for, first Baron, right? Get, get the first uh, first little sledgehammer in, then we'll. Uh, yeah, for, first we'll Baron when they're up almost 15k. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually we're looking there. at 10k after Baron. <laughs> they were looking at like 14k yeah. prior to Baron. Okay, as much as I'm joking around though, like it is slightly concerning that IDL isn't pulling this out because if Rise was not so far behind. They would be scaling, <laughs> and yeah, scaling heavily favors Rise. I'm just so if you'll send a video of a teacher talking about yeah, uh, four or four actually posted that like earlier this week. Oh yeah, dude. About all the e sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, they, yeah. It's like, so, oh yeah, I want to go. You know, lay out a blanket and have some wine. Uh, some wine outside, wine and cheese outside. Ah, oh, we're having a piki niki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch a video on my favorite streaming on my favorite uh internet video platform. Oh, the YouTube. Tiki Toki? <laughs> yeah, Chiki Toki, yeah. All right, but again, the, the teaser CH is so Chiki Toki. Podcast, porra! É isso! Podcast! I do agree, as as a São Paulino, as someone from São Paulo who has a little more, like, I mean, well, it's, it's just a different accent, but uh, yeah, I will say, Rio accents are, are the sickest. They, they sound the most Brazilian, in my mind. So what what makes it more like Brazilian? What what makes the real accent different? A lot of the, the the main thing that I think of is like the S's are well. I mean, and, and Bella and Soph can tell me more. Like yes, it 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 is just more Brazilian. There's just kind of a certain je ne sais quoi. But like I think the thing that I think of is that the S's are SHs. S. Okay. Yeah. A hey, lot. So, a lot so of yes. not, not all of them. Sho Sho no, so it's S's. I think it's mainly S's at end of words. So it's, it's not okay. it's not like a hard and fast thing. Um, yes, yeah, like plurals, right? Um, uh, I don't know. So it's like, like dinkas uh, and be dinkash. Ujinkash. Yeah, I, I guess it would be. I think. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I, and again, this is uh, this is where you guys would correct me more. But yeah, I'm oh, just a. Uh, okay. Yeah. São Paulo no cosmopolito da cidade. I'm, I don't know anything about. That, that's just like the um, the stereotype that people from São Paulo get have is like that they're kind of more like more foo foo because you're from like oh you're from like the big international city like oh you're from the hell is foo foo what the foo foo is foo 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 means like i don't know like bougie okay i've not heard that term so interesting okay ideal won this it's gonna be tukui for mvp he went like 8-0 and 10 this game like on a terrible champion yeah I'm joking that was a joke i'm not <laughs> 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 like the way, dude. The way I'm, I'm talking about no, you, you, you can't, you can't put people past a certain age on Oriana. They'll do stuff that like, true. Yeah. You know what? If Yone is like the Zoomer champion, Oriana is like the Boomer champion. You give Tenos yeah. a champion, I bet you, 
he would do disgusting things on it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, like they just know what they're doing on this champion. It's like what they were raised on. Yeah, so that's really interesting. I didn't know that. The, the most national television for plenty of decades of the real action is the standard national action for action actresses, yeah. Wow, that's wild. I didn't know that. Actually, that reminds me. The BBC, uh, so the British accent, the BBC accent is not a real accent. That's an accent that was made up to... What, or, you, was, wasn't this to the, the transatlantic accent? Or am I making, I'm, I'm thinking of something else. Never mind, I never mind, never mind. I, I was okay. told that the BBC accent is not a real British accent. It's basically the most understandable accent. Like, they made it to be understood by people all across the UK. Oh, interesting. So is that, so, like, the same as, um, what, what do they call it? Like, the Queen's English, or...? Well, Queen's English just refers to, like, British English. That's it. Oh, okay. Like, it's not really, like, the posh... Like, there, there's, like, the posh English has its own name. And there's, like, Cockney and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. Queen's English generally just refers to, like, British English. Because, um, versus, like, American English. Where, gotcha. like, you all drop the, the U in a lot of things. Like, color, rumor. Um, right, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then, yeah, BBC English apparently is not, like, a... Like, there's no region in the UK that natively speaks that, like, the BBC natively. accent. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, Bella, when, um, because my, my American dad, the first place he lived in in the U.S. was, um, or the first place he lived in in Brazil, excuse me, was Sao Paulo, right? And that's where I met my mom. He worked there for GM, right? So he, like, he, he became fluent in Portuguese pretty quick, but he has a horrendous gringo accent, right? Like, and, <laughs> but he, he went, he took a trip with my mom up to the Nordest, right? And he was like, he was like, bro. That shit was so difficult. I could not understand like a word they were saying up there. Like he was, he was like, he was like, I never felt so bad because he was like, he's like, I, I was fluent in Portuguese. Like I could, I could get around São Paulo like great. I, I did business in Portuguese with Brazilian like businessmen. He's like, I, he's like, I know I'm fluent. Then I went to the Northeast and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like I'm so lost. And it's funny because like maybe it's just because I was, I was in the wrong part of the Northeast. But when I went to Recife, that was my first time in the Northeast. I had trouble understanding, like, you know, the wait staff and, like, taxi drivers and shit. Like, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't as bad for me. But maybe I was just, again, maybe I wasn't, uh, wasn't deep enough in the country. <laughs> I also did learn Portuguese. Yes, I learned Portuguese from all my, uh, my, my whole São Paulino uh, Brazilian family, my whole mom's side. Yeah. Grandma nowadays lives specifically in Dom Bernardo do Campo. Yeah, no, my dad. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know, man. But I, I was like, yeah. And that's another thing that I think this is a. a okay, Dolphin Bella, you guys tell me this. Because when I when I what I just said, right? I said São Bernardo. Right? Is that a Gringo accent or is that a São Paulo accent? Because I know that, like some of the R's, like some of them are like bounced, and some of them are like São Be São Be Bernardo, right? Like Bernardo, right? Like the it's it's more like an H, right? And maybe in, so in in São Bernardo, it's not like you know that's not a good example, but I know that some like the R's aren't like right? They aren't H's. Yeah, cause I, yeah, I, I, and that's what I thought it was a São Paulo thing, cause my dad, right, like, he, uh, but that hint of gringo, yeah, uh, yeah, cause my dad, he, um, uh, for example, oh my God, no, my um, my grandma, my grandma, the one who lives in São Bernardo, she lives on a on a street called Rua Rudi Ramos, right, brutal, and my dad was like, he saw the yeah, seven point five k damage on the Renekton, and that's terrible. That is horrendous. Um, but, uh, but yeah, he would pronounce it, uh, Rua Ruji Ramos. He just couldn't do the, that R. You know, have all the gringo R's. Not gonna lie, like, hearing y'all talk about Portuguese, like, uh, if I recall correctly, I think the, people say the hardest language to learn is Mandarin, like Chinese. Portuguese sounds a lot more complicated, man. Mandarin's got four accents. <laughs> Not Kuji Ramos. I don't know who, who Ramos is. Yeah, no. I mean, I. It sounds it sounds more complicated than it is. I think honestly, people get people get all freaked out. They're like, oh, it sounds like German. It sounds like Russian. It's just like no. Like just I, like it's not like it, it's harder than Spanish. Yes, but like you can you can intuit it. Like come on. Like don't 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 give me that. 
uma bota de, de resistência máxima pra completar o kit de, de, de proteção. Aí ser Rudy Ramos. Aí ser Rudy Ramos. That's a microphone internet streaming issue. Não. Yeah, but, that, but that's another thing that, um, because of, because of, uh, Tukui, right? Like, like, it, his name is Tukui, right? Tuku means your asshole, right? So that's what they call him, like, so, and of course, Tukui, Tukui, he's, like, fully leaned into that. Like, Tukui, what I love about Tukui, he is fully in build. No, he's so into it. No, literally? Yeah, like, Tukui, yeah. Yeah, like, and, like, Brazilian streamers, they intentionally call him, like, Tukui, like, like, to intentionally, like, do that. There was a stream, there was a clip I saw, I think IDL reposted it, um, of Takui. He learned, he was like, and he, in fluent Portuguese, right? He, uh, first of all, yeah, he has learned Portuguese like really, really well. And in Portuguese, he's like, he's like, okay, guys, okay, you guys in the chat, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna help me out. I'm looking for 15 different ways to say the word penis, all right? Besides <laughs> the word penis, 15 different nicknames, Bro. right? Like dick, cock, etc. And he went through and like with the help of Chad, because he was like, he was like, I know these eight, right? You know, like bow and you know, stuff like that. And he was like, he's like, wow, I'm learning so much. And like the chat was obviously more than happy to help him, like find seven more <laughs> slang words for penis. And so that was, um, that was Takui getting cultured. It's a good thing for Dia doesn't wash these. This is going on the CB Long the Shadow Launcher. That's okay. No, this is culture. This is good. All right. You're indoctrinating people. And, and welcome, Dark Knight. Uh, you made it in time for whatever this. <laughs> yeah. Also, the, the games are going interestingly. The first two games were close. Uh, game three just became a podcast because Rise, I don't know why. They just decided they didn't want to play. So They got flattened. Yeah, they, they ran it. They literally ran it. Because they had to run in as a Lilia, um, and they did. Oh my. What's Biza say to pick her Azir? Like, just pick me Azir? So the lore behind that one, right? His, his Azir is really good, but... Yep. Um, uh, so I, I, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable explaining Bisha, because I know that's also... Isn't that like a slang word for... And I don't know if this is like one of these things that's like, oh, it's like, it's like sort of like offensive, but it's like kind of not offensive. Um, so I don't, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> okay. roll that grenade back into your, uh, uh, your corner there. Um, but, um, okay. You know yeah. what? That, that's fine. Um, yeah. yeah be, be just, it's, it's, it's a slang word for homosexual, basically. It's like, you can't like up okay. an offensive one. Um, but, but again, it's one of these things that's like in gamer communities is kind of thrown on, but like, um, but honestly, like uh, maybe a sort of like decent translation in this case would be like, bitch, if you pick me a zero, kind of said, kind of sassy, right? <laughs> um, because there was a picture that just like went viral of him of like him kind of it's like it's the pose he did like, right the it's clock like, tip with the like yeah yeah, like, yeah yeah like that right and it just went viral <laughs> and and it was like it was it was in like the first couple weeks where he was in CB Law yes. and it was like he was just perma on his ear and just dumpstering people with it right and I, like it, it went viral and like someone would caption it like bitch if you pick if you let me pick a ear again like bitch if you pick me a ear and so his victory pose in the MVP, if you scroll yes, back, it I is that. that. And he yeah. has leaned into it. He intentionally did that because of that meme that went viral. Yeah, that, that's why like, when you're describing the thing, I said, oh, it's the cocktail one because that was his MVP picture. I remember that. Yeah, exactly. He was winning so many of those. Yeah. That's oh, man. So funny. No, he's, that's hilarious. He has, he has fully embraced the, the Brazilian culture, Brazilian identity, all of it. And he's perfect. And that's why Brazil loves him. Because yep. the only thing, like they, I mean, it's, it's like any culture, right? But Brazil especially, like if you embrace their shit, you will never buy a drink, you know, again. Like, they just love it. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, again, I, I cannot believe Takui. Well, we know why Takui isn't in CB Law because of the, the contract whole thing. Because because he paid for ID. <laughs> but I cannot yeah. see him not playing for a CB Law team next, but, like, genuinely. He is still, like, he's a top five mid laner in CB Law, as it sounds. As no, he's certainly good enough. Him. No, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that's one thing I've noticed. Okay, I don't know if it's just the people or what, but like what I've noticed too is like there's a lot of terms like gringo, for example, is a term like I, I remember when we first got picked up as a by Ride Brazil, I was like, can we use that word? Because like I know that's offensive in like south the south side of the US, right? But like, in Brazil it's like, no, it's chill. It just means supporter. Like nobody gets upset over it. It's just like uh it's perfectly acceptable and okay to use. Heck, I can't even put that in the stream title, by the way, on Twitch. We tried to do Gringo's Liberados, one of the streams I remember we tried to do it on Twitch. I had to change out, I think the I for an, a one or something. I had to change but one of the Twitch letters. didn't even let you use gringo? Yeah, you, you can't type gringos or gringo on uh, Twitch. As a That's stream title. wild. I didn't know yep. that. I found out that day because I usually I'm the one who changes the stream titles when uh, he doesn't 
Yeah, because yeah. yeah. then that was the like, Gringos Liberados podcast. So I was trying to do it, and it would not let me do that. And I was like, "What the hell?" I didn't I, honestly. I, I didn't realize it was like that, like offensive. Like I, I felt like it was always one of those things where, like, it was just like, it's just a characterization. But it's like the intent behind it, the context is what can make it or make it not offensive. But yeah. Anyway, guess not. All right, yeah. I'm gonna get my laundry. One sec. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, hi Kobe. Bye Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> also, peace out. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Hope you had fun. <laughs> it was good to have you and Bella, you know, with uh, Forward for all talking about Portuguese language. Uh, Kobe, you just missed out a wild conversation, <laughs> for better or for worse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Luna said, like in Spanish, like it is a, a race system. Like, so, yeah, I just find it really interesting that like for Brazil, it's like it's chill and it's perfectly acceptable and and it's legit and it's okay. Yeah. I think maybe it's like a cultural thing. And you know what? That's kind of one of the things I love about Brazil. Everybody's really chill there. Until it comes to sports and then they go buck wild, which generally I enjoy until they start bugging the players. Then I think that's crossing a line. But yeah, the, the wildness in the arena is always really fun to watch um, as well. What was, which game was it? I think it was the uh, Furia Loud game like last week? The week before? Last week? Uh, like watching the, the CBL re reactions were just... Super insane and funny. And watching <laughs> watching some people in the crowd sometimes like take a while to process what happened. I think it was uh, one of the fights where Fury was winning and then they started losing the team fight. And you could see like, the Fury fans cheering and a couple of them like didn't get the memo and they were still cheering even as Loud started beating Fury <laughs> in that fight. <laughs> I was laughing pretty hard at that one. But yeah. I feel like that's missing in North America for our uh, League of Legends fans. You know... That's hardcore. Yeah. Game four. Oh, I need to change that. I forgot to change that on the stream. We are heading into game four. This could be the last game. And if... So... What was it again? The predictions were... Lunar predicted... Uh, rise 3-1. Whoops. I slipped. Rise 3-1. So, that's dead at this point. Uh, 4i4 went with... Oof. Writing with a mouse is painful. Uh, went with IDL 3-2, so that's still viable uh, right now. Um, I went with... Holy crap. Oh, I just wiped it. I went with 3-1, I'm not writing it. Um, that's still viable right now. If they win, if IDL wins this game, I predict it right. If they lose this game, then 4i4 is the only one still in it. Not let the morale go down. LCS has hardcore fans. Do they? Like, I mean, I, I know of some people who are really into the whole LCS thing, right? Like, uh, like Numi, like Mr. Chim Chim, you know, um, Silvex, stuff like that. But, like, they don't show it the same way. They just literally live on the opposite of the country. Okay, fair. Maybe it's all the Chicago people. That's weird, though, because LA... Mm, ah. LA's got some crazy people, too, I feel like. Uh, in terms of bans so far, IDL... Ooh, this is interesting, because IDL won the last... Wait, no. Is this right? IDL, yeah. Okay, no, that's right. Yeah. Rise wanted to. Wow, we are just slamming that for Rise. That goes back to game one when IDL banned the Draven. It could go to Linkus, it could go to Kakashi. Kakashi historically has played more Draven though, so I would expect this to be a botside Draven. But they changed up the bands and they banned Pantheon instead, so... Giving Takui LeBlanc feels like a really bad idea. This, he has like almost 100% win rate. He's 80% win rate on this uh, LeBlanc pick. 1-4, lost one. Uh, no, IDL didn't do the crazy subs today. It's just Shrimp playing today. I think Shrimp was just not available that day or something when they did the uh, the crazy swap for, um, was it Looks? Who played that day? Oh, Letter, not Looks, sorry. I don't know who Looks is. That name was just in my head. And not Looks, the coach from Kate Stars, like L O O K S. Like, that's a player. Uh. Uh, look at the road shows. They literally fill the arena everywhere but California. I wonder if that's just because like n you only get one chance if you're not in California, right? If you're not in LA, it's hard to go and watch. So when it's not in LA, everybody goes nuts. Holy, what the? Okay. I actually really like this. Melzahar is an old school counter into LeBlanc. 
Basically, Malzahar doesn't really play the game that much, but then when you pick him, somebody on the other team doesn't get to play the game. So, okay, this is definitely a prepared counter pick. I, I love this. I really, really like this. This reminds me of old school, like, Pawn versus Faker, you know, Morgana until LeBlanc vibes. Yeah. And it goes well with the Viego as well. I, I kind of like it. You are holding them in place. Viego can just wreck them and you can get resets. Single target lockdown. Uh, you add it with the Draven. There is a lot of setup already for Viego. Single target setup for Viego. Uh, California is also expensive to just go bandana. <laughs> if LeBlanc goes, but uh, what's, what's his face? Um, Quicksilver Slash. <laughs> I keep hitting the word bandana because you said that, darn it. Uh, if LeBlanc goes Quicksilver Slash, I would be very impressed, but it'd also be kind of weird since AD LeBlanc is not a thing anymore. Malzahar can support. Can he? I guess once you build Rylas, is that how it works? But then you got to rush the Rylas first. I don't know. Uh, but this is 100% mid lane, Malzahar, though, because you're matching the LeBlanc. So. Bandana wins. Yeah, uh, no bans for those of y'all who might not be aware. Full fearless game four, you lose half your bans just so that you don't overban. <laughs> so it's not like either team did anything to cost them their bans. This is just the format. I see the J4 being picked up for Shrimp as well. Yeah, it does feel like IDL for most of this series has kind of played comfort picks. Uh, like this drop that came through from IDL in Game 3, this just feels very, very comfort. More than meta. Or, yeah. Like the, the Oriana was a huge question mark. The Aphelios is a, a flare comfort pick. So going to this game, again, it feels like we're kind of switching back a little bit to comfort more than anything else. I mean, Varus J4 is a good combo, but we'll see what else they round it out with. I'm not holding out too much hope for uh, for any sort of like massive wombo combo to come through. Let's see if I can drink this a little bit. Nope. Uh-oh, I did a thing. Uh, maybe I zoom out. Yeah, I zoom out and then I shrink this so that we can see. It's still big enough, right? Y'all can still see the picks, I think. So, should be okay. Oh, in Portuguese, it's called Quicksilver Bandana. Okay. Uh, Sash, not exactly. Sashes usually go around your waist compared to like a bandana that goes around your head for the most part. But, yeah. Ideal should lose draft for pot. Nah, Lunar. We can't do that because connection issues is a legitimate thing, right? And they're not playing. Um, and yeah, they're not they're not playing in studio it was in studio and they're randomly pausing agreed but. Brent a sash is similar in design but different in purpose ah yes what Brent says you know better <laughs> I'm not big on fashion or items clothing yeah going with the NAR here I kind of like it it goes well with the whole J4 thing I also has played it before I think it's a decent blind I like it better than say like Renekton or Cassante blinds to be fair when pick is good though again I think Rise is dropping well oh Blitzcrank okay I liked it till I saw the Blitzcrank I don't like the Blitzcrank here yeah I was just gonna say they're, they're still yeah there was still um Rom and I think Leona also didn't get picked right oh no Leona got picked never mind Sorry, I also need to screenshot this in quick sec there we go. Yeah, I feel like Ryze forgot that Brom wasn't picked yet and was still available. Because, yeah, the Brom is absolutely going to mess that up. I don't think Blitz is a good blind champion. Yeah. Man, that, that's a little bit unfortunate. I like Ryze's comp right up to the very, very end there. It's still good with Draven, though. There's a lot of kill threat. It's just into the Braum specifically, it's not as good kill threat. And Braum, Varus can actually stand there and trade if they want to. Uh, the picks are also on the screen. Uh, true, Dark Knight. So the, the reason why I also screenshot this is less for the picks and actually more for the bans. I just want to see like what um, sort of things got banned out or what they changed up. So like in this game, the fact that like, they're banning Trindamir instead when they haven't been banning it the last two games uh, I, I feel like it's partially because they lost they don't get bans in the second phase so they need to ban it now or never so yeah that's more of a me thing yeah 100% Gwen Gwen's gonna do work in this composition right now 
jogo fica muito rodando em torno dele, se ele vai conseguir pegar a base ou não. Yeah, the, the right, that's why the only kind of pick I didn't really like was the Blitzcrank. Everything else is really, really good. Um, if anything, I'd actually have liked to see a Braum here for Rise. I think Braum would have fit this comp perfectly. And you'd have denied it away from Yuki as well. And there's really aren't that many options left for Yuki in terms of uh, tanky support champions. Quicksilver was a nickname for the element Mercury. Ooh. Is that why they, they, they're calling it? Oh, that makes sense because then it builds into Mercurial Scimitar. I actually never thought about that, Bren. That's really cool. <laughs> Like, I, I know that Quicksilver and Mercury was a, another name for Mercury. I never, but never connected that that's why they called it Quicksilver. Sash, I always just thought, I just never thought about it. <laughs> I just thought, oh, it's a Silver Sash, but you gotta be quick to press, I guess. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yes, Lunar. Quicksilver is also a mutant Marvel. Who's very fast, yes. Unless Bounty hates Braum, there's no reason to pick him. Uh, no reason not to pick it. Uh, agreed. Again, I suspect that Rise forgot that Braum was up. To be fair, like when you're this far into the draft, um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you lose track of bands a little bit. I mean, obviously not ideal, but yeah. If Braum wasn't available, then I like the Blitzcrank blind pick at that point. And especially with the Draven, it feels so good. But... Oh yeah, Quicksilver is a, clo a clothing brand. I think it's like Surfer Skater Gear. Here. Rise could also have been trying to save Braum for Game 5. True, fair. But I... The problem is that in full Fearless, you can't save it. Oh, Sting. Oh, does Sting just die here? Oh... That is very not good. And they got into Kui first blood. You can just buy boots and then bully. Oh no, he didn't get first blood. Okay, Shrimp got first blood. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if that's better or worse though. <laughs> Game, that's it. <laughs> Uh, it's certainly a very rough way for Rice to start this. It's really good for IDL. I mean, IDL's got a good teamfight comp. I, I don't want to sell their drafting short by any means. They just drafted a really solid composition. Probably their most solid this series, I want to say. Yeah, this is probably my favorite comp from IDL this series. It's the most internally cohesive composition. Like, it does well with each other across the thing. Sting again. I, I swear, Sting Sting is good to split. I swear. I know this game, this series has not looked it, but Sting was good. I, I don't know what's happening with him today. Maybe he's the one having internet issues. Ren, it's a double pun because Mercurial means difficult to define or lockdown or is unpredictable. True, indeed, difficult to lock down. Uh, stick a fork and rise there, Cody. <laughs> and you're just disappointed they lost the games. Deckers can still carry, don't worry. <laughs> RMC over here lying into our face. Wait, what, what? How did I lie? What did I say? I'm not lying. I never lie. <laughs> I just play with numbers sometimes, but I never lie. <laughs> the stats lie, it's not me. Where is Shrimp going? Okay, interesting. He's just removing the blast gun. Okay. Oh. Oh. Linkus. Oh, even with the flash. I appreciate what Linkus was trying to do, but the flash was... Yeah. Basically, Linkus is trying to bait everything and then flash out after, but when you're already that deep in, you're, you took too much damage shooking them. Takuya is just auto-attacking the entire time. Yeah, this mid-jungle Sting and Linkus might be a problem. I wonder if they're tilted from last game a little bit, because last game was definitely a tilt turn. Sting! Sting was not mid at best. In the era of AP junglers, Sting was actually good. If we're talking like just straight utility, okay, Sting's like kind of average. Like he's not bad, but he's not amazing. Oh, nice. Well done from Zekus. Yeah, Zekus will probably have to carry, right? So. 
Far Cry Rising vai sendo detonada na parte inferior do mapa. Galera tá... Middle show for mediocre. Chiqui, chiqui, Dark Knight. Tem que se curar ainda. E um fato curioso é que o Bounty, ele veio com a aproximação... Ah, não, Sting was also mid, right there. And couldn't do a thing, as Link has died, so... Se acerte esse grab e a troca continue, o Yuki vai conseguir segurar muito tempo por conta do inquebrável. Tem o guardião também... Ok, and he's mid again. Mas a gente vê que o Bounty não vai segurar... I don't think he can do anything to Sekui, though. He's being shoved under turret. Segurar o máximo tempo possível, mas... Não é o suficiente para ele conseguir essa eliminação. Yeah, really rough start for Rise. The scaling for Rise is good, though. Melzahar is a great scaler. Viego scales well. Gwen scales well. Draven's not the best scaler, but... He's... He will still hit like a truck. So... He's okay, like... You contrast that to ideal where... To a certain extent, LeBlanc falls off a little bit. Nar falls off a little bit. J4 falls off quite a bit. E.T. Averis will scale well, though. Yeah, I just don't think it'll go that late. This this series in general, Ideal and Rise don't like to just sit back and scale. Both of them want to do stuff, so... Dekui still has not based. Oh, this is so bad for Linkus right now. And the shield got popped by the wolves. Holy... Shrimp, bro, chill! Oh. Shrimp just pushing Sting out. Linkus missed half a wave because he just got chased around his own jungle. 2v1, my shrimp. Okay. Yeah, I... Oh, man, this is... This is rough. Like, I like that Zekas tried to help out, but also, Zekas is not strong enough to be able to... Yeah. The Viego is just too weak early. Takui picked up Hexec Ultimator plus Dark Seal. Uh, I'm expecting to see a kill coming soon from mid lane. Or from Takui. He might roam for it. Lunar, don't make me delete your comments. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you couldn't resist, but yeah, that's why Sting is still in Academy. Maybe. Yeah, I do think the meta really benefited him, and now that... It's, it's not really moved away yet, but yeah, I think this is a more genuine test for... Whether or not it's just a meta that made Sting good. Yeah, Shrimp is running this game right now. Everywhere he shows up, you can see Rise just have to back off. He went up top and they backed off. He shows up bot, they back off. Uh, he also picked up one of the Void Grubs up here. I don't hate the idea if you're going to go for take one Void Grub and just rotate straight to Dragon. That way, Rise doesn't get to do the sort of Void Grub Dragon trade. The question is whether or not Ryze recognizes that, hey, uh, we're probably going to lose this and go top and just get two Void Grubs. It's better than nothing. But it doesn't look like Sting's doing that right now, so... Okay, Bounty with the Rome. I'm just thinking right now, with the, how the early game went, the ones who are suffering the most is actually probably Kakashi and Bounty, because they wanted to play aggressively. And now they kind of can't. The early sweepers from Yuki is really nice too, because more than protecting your lane, Realistically, what you want to do is just make Ryze too scared to push up with the Draven Blitzcrank. So, deny vision is more important. That's exactly what they did. Mid lane to Takui is 20 CS up. Damn. I don't know. I think Sting 6 now. I want to see a gank in the mid lane from Sting. Even if you're behind in levels, even if you're behind in gold, Melzahar Viego is just such a... Like, no counterplay combo. Also, a little bit annoyed. 
Shrimp came down bot and they didn't go for dragon. If Ryze gets this, this is ideal gifting it to them. Oh, chain slants. This thing's half health. Okay. They're trying to focus thing down. Oh, Shrimp! Yo, Shrimp! Oh my gosh, Shrimp! Yo, that's crazy. Shrimp is on fire right now. Good kickoff from Flair, and the team just knew exactly what they had to do. But Shrimp, holy crap, Shrimp. Replay, replay, please. Uh, Dark Knight, you'd say next year probably be one of his last to prove himself for CB LOL since everything's changing, but who will know what happens to him. Yeah, agreed. I think there's quite a few good jungle talents, um, the split that came up in the academy. So, yeah, it depends on how academy goes. I still don't know, like, what the format is for an split. Um, for Academy at all. Like, we know that CB Law will have, or uh, what are they calling it now? The America's South will have eight teams, but I don't know what they're going to do with Academy. Okay. So, great collapse in from IDL from different angles, and Bounty blocks a lot of damage, but this right here. Oh, that flash from Shrimp. That flash on Nyx to no health. If Sting gets the reset, I don't know if this changes. Like, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But, yeah. Oh, sorry, not, not, uh, Yuki, not Bounty. I got the support. Sword. Yuki did a great job soaking damage for Shrimp. This Braum is such an impactful pick. I hate that they left it open. <coughs> Welcome back, 404. Oh, another Braum truther game for RMC? Yeah. And Rise blind blinded the Blitz um, when Braum was still up, so it's even worse because um, Blitz hates Braum. Like Blitz can live with like Alistar, it can live with Leona. It's not amazing, but it's playable. Um, but Braum is one of the ones that you really, really don't want to have to deal with. Nobody knows the format that's named Main Problem, Dark Knight? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, because we're looking at good supports in Academy. Um, Steiner's good. Uh, I think Drake Hero will probably get another shot. Because, uh, yeah, CB Low was kind of really, really rough. Mm, Deity's pretty decent, too. Uh, Doom from Red, uh, Red Academy was really good. Oh, Flare missed. Oi. And this is where you see why Blitzcrank hates Braum. Yeah, okay. Wait, that was really well up. played by Kakashi. He played that yeah. fight really well. Bounty 2 managed to get around the Braum. Well, well positioned. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Kakashi didn't die in the last fight, right? So he actually cashes out big. Yeah, he didn't die, so nice cash out. Nice yes cash. Lunar, you're the one that got me on the hype, uh, bro, hype train. <laughs> Kinda. Uh, to be fair, you, you definitely did uh, bring it up before we started seeing it. Uh, I've always been a big Braum fan, though. I, I do think he's the best singular support to pick into Engage. But yeah, no, that's fair. You definitely caught on early. Ooh. Oh my Damn. goodness. Yo, I was hyped for this Melzer Heart pick, too. It is now 0-3. 0-3. Oh, no. Yeah. Yep, okay, I think Dark Knight has the right of it. It's going to be a Zekka's carry game if Ryze come back from this. Uh, for The reason why I don't say Kakashi is because I think Kakashi is going to have a hard time in team fights navigating it. Um, if he if he doesn't get touched, then yes, he could be a big comeback con too. Now is the support not okay? No, it's not. I still don't see how... Like, how would support Malzahar work? I assume it's like Rylai's, no? Uh, I, I'd argue this would be a better support too than Malzahar. 
do Ayel chegar, tiver esse Mega Knight, tiver uma participação, pelo menos nessas primeiras ah. fights aqui, vai ser muito melhor, porque ele vai oferecer muito controle de grupo. E agora, falando até em poder aqui, a gente vê que o Tuco já fechou até a, até a pistola, então, nesse momento aqui... Essa... I'm just looking through the jungle, academy jungle list, and unfortunately for Sting, even if it was still AP meta, he's still not top 5 for me. He's... He's not... He's not bad, but he's also... Yeah. Because I have Doom above him. I have uh, Sarolu above him. Tatu above him. Uh, and then, of course... I you know. I already said Tatu. Yeah. Shiner above him. Okay, so maybe he's like 5-ish. I don't want to say Nero, but I'm just... I don't want... I just really like the Los Grandes roster. Uh, Academy roster. I know that they, they didn't even qualify, so they can't be, like, amazing, but I feel like there's so much potential in Promise, and... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vai ter briga, meu amigo. O time da Rise quer briga. Vai invadindo o Rio. Tem um dragão disponível. Vocês estão vendo ele por ali. Galera da IDL vai fazendo a passagem, vai fazendo a movimentação. This dragon fight could be literally cataclysmic for Rise. Yeah, so... Oh, jeez, Flair. Não foi tão efetivo. Ainda assim, o Yuk vem se aproximando junto com o Tuzu. Eu acho que ele vai lá atrás. Ele quer o flanco. Deixa um pouquinho para trás. Esse dragão, o Shriek tá ali prontinho para roubar. Posicionamento do Bount é para fazer essa linha de fogo. Oh, dude, they know. On the ward, but Takui, he, he wants blood. Yeah, he, he's in. Oh! Yep, Kakashi. Oh. It's so much, way too much damage. Yeah. And the position. Oh! Shrimp! On the sting! The knock up! Zekas? Zekas? Can he do it? He's trying so hard! Ooh. Dude. Dude. I mean, I, I still think this one's Jover, but like, yeah. that was uh, that was interesting. Yeah. Zeka somehow didn't die. Must be the resistances of the, the Hallowed Mist, or not Hallowed Mist, whatever the thing is called. I, what is it? Hallowed Mist is Diego. Oh. Let me see. Yeah, just the resistances. Zekas stood in there for so long. Damn. No, it, it's Halamus. It is Halamus. Okay, then what's Viego's then? Viego's is. I got them switched up. There's Hallowed Mist and Harrowed Path. Ah, Harrowed Path, okay. And Spectral Maw. Spectral Maw is his stun, I know that much. Ooh! One full combo from Takui. The chain's ball, not full, because chain's in land, but damn. Uh, Dark Knight Link has probably stomped the LeBlanc against Flixu or something. Oh, yeah. Again, like, I, I actually think that on paper, theoretically, the Malzahar is a great pick. It's an old school counter. So, you know what? I, I'm with Blinkers on that, I thought, on paper, but on the Rift, it was just completely different. Uh, the, 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 cra the missed hook was the worst part of that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I didn't even see Ponty throw the hook. <laughs> ah, jeez. Zekas can carry if his team helps a little bit. Yes. Agreed. I think Zekas, th there's potential here. That Gwen could still be huge. Yeah. It's just so tough. And to be fair, that's also because Yuki didn't have Unbreakable. It's not Unbreakable also messes with um, Needlework. Ooh, I actually wonder if Zekas can lane into Tsukui. Hmm. Okay, that's an angle. Yeah. Because if he can't, then they've got problems. If they can, then th there's still ways for Rice to try and stall this. Yeah. Hey, turret. Bounty, again, bounty gold. The early games have not favored Rise, which makes sense when you look at nameplates. I mean, LDL, IDL, pardon me, has a lot of big names. White. Okay, Lunar, I know you're calling me old. This is a good counter in Season 4. <laughs> I mean, the, where's the last time we saw Melzahar? I feel like Season 5, 6, when Pole Belter was slamming it for... See, oh, well, there was, there was the Season 7 Crown Worlds, but... Oh, true, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, it has been a hot minute. That was literally, like, half of League's competitive lifespan ago. Yes, essentially. <laughs> 
Season 9, Lunar? Who was playing Season 9? Eu sei que tava sempre, sempre ele tava vendo na linha do perigo. Mas agora, ele, se ele der um W pra frente, der um QR e um E, ele pode possivelmente matar qualquer um. <risos> o Bald vazou ali do jeito que podia. O time da IDL vai pressionando. Na parte inferior do mapa, com o Arauto. Tá é. posicionado ali pra cadastrada. Bem na torre. Vamos ver se tem força pra derrubar o Ayel. Tá com o Mega Nari. Ele dá aquela tancada. E só agora chega mais uma onda de minions. O time da Riot vai tentar defender. Bald ameaça puxar alguém. I'm actually not sure that's worth então, burning the TP. We try and cover this. We'll see if he comes back to bite them. Like, Baron's up in a minute, and with how strong IDL is, like, Baron is a legitimate uh, objective they can look at. Nine was death on Marksman, FPX1 Worlds, G2 1 MSI. With Malza? Ela é muito ineficaz porque a equipe dele só pode realmente entrar, limpar essas sentinelas e colocar as próprias ali naquela, naquela visão da selva. Então a gente vê que, novamente, o Blitz, quando você tá jogando nessa situação que você tá... Yeah, this, this Blitz pick really hasn't worked out, unfortunately. There, there are so many picks on the side of Rise, but I'm like, this has so much potential. And then... <laughs> and then, uh... Que vão revelar a sua posição, então não é nada fácil. Olha que a yeah, playoff memes melt their playoff dreams, I guess. Seria mais complicado aqui para eles conseguirem voltar para o jogo em termos de conseguir. Oh, he was meta in summer. Okay. I honestly do not remember that at all, but. Yeah. I believe it. You're usually right about these things. Oh. Okay, there it's we go. That's big. That's big. The potential is being fulfilled. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was split pushing. Yeah, but if you can shut down Takui, he is a lot of teams gold right now. He is. Yeah. yeah. If you take him out, like, it's actually playable for us in team fights. Was that a thousand gold shutdown? Ooh, good question. Yeah? Oh, wait, no, just shy, sorry. 900. Because 700 is max bounty. But then you think about the fact that Draven has his uh, passive as well. That probably was more than a thousand Yeah, gold. effectively a thousand gold shut down. Yeah. <laughs> Can't miss the hook if they're suppressed. Well, about that. So, fun fact about Melzahar. Uh, the damage from his ult actually doesn't come from the suppression ray. It comes from the, the ground under them. So if you hook somebody out of it, you don't get the damage, the percent damage part of it. Oh, you just get the suppress? Yep. Interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. Zekas is here late. He's cleaning up? They gotta get on him somehow. Okay, there's no sustained damage. Flare's down. Rise is doing oh. it! Rise is coming back in. <laughs> the potential is being fulfilled. And into Baron. Very, very nice and rest. I like how like I'm here talking about like being hooking somebody off the damage and Bella and Lunar are just like, yes, you can't actually miss a hook on a stationary target. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Takui though. They want to do the deeps. And Shrimp do the steal. Yeah, Vision in the pit. <gasps> Zekas has no needle work this time. Oh. I really thought Ryze could get it. Damn, that, that could end up being, uh, being pretty brutal. Yeah, I mean, Ryze still... It's still good that they win the fight, but oh no, wait, if they lose Baron, it's not net positive, oh, never mind. Oh no, dude. Only Link is a TP, Zekas can't go. Okay, Zekas doesn't need a full reset, and Nita was about to come back up, so. Oh wow. That bulk! Yuki just stopped the rolling death! His unbreakable was like pixel perfect to stop it. Um, oh. I mean, really well played from IDL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta give them credit. <laughs> yeah. The Kui and Shrimp finish like still stall them all out. Yeah. 
precisou voltar para a base e a equipe da IDL não deu mole, não hesita um segundo sequer. Ok, Ryze at least still got the dragon. Uh, and yeah, there's objective pony, so that's nice for them. Uh, what's the push like from IDL? Mm, the wave clear from Ryze is not bad, so... Oh, that hook. Hey, that was amazing. Hey. That's the thing about Blitz, man. One good hook can cover all manner of sins. True. It's not about the hooks you miss. It's about the ones you land. Exactly. Bella, you want to tell us something? Sekis was once in CB LOL on the Renska team. When he did anything, everyone screamed for him. Even the other team cheered. Is he such a cute person? <laughs> That's precious. Yeah, super clever are the cutest ones in, scenario, in the scene. Super clever is adorable. Like, yeah, how can you 100%. not love I, I want to pinch the shit out of his cheeks, man. Like, I, like I, know, I know that's kind of emasculating. Like, I wouldn't... If someone said that about me, I'm not sure how much I'd enjoy it. But here we are. I like his doleful eyes. I know. <laughs> like, he just looks at you like, oh, Yeah. I couldn't kill that. No. And loud tried. Uh, I don't know about Zekas, though. Ze Zekas... I don't know if I call him cute. That guy looks like he could bench me. <laughs> but he did. I, I saw the old pictures of him. He lost a lot of weight. He buffed up so much. Oh, really? Yeah. Compared to like, his old pictures. Yeah. Okay, Lunar. I'm going to delete that comment. So I'm trying to inflame. Does Detroit have a what? No, 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 no. no nothing face. happened. I'm nothing my, happened. No, it's my, gone my no. no, my DMs are open too, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, do, do it in your DM, so don't don't drag the rest of the chat into that, Lunar. Oh? Ooh, nice try. I really like that idea was like making those sort of aggressive plays before the turrets are down too. I feel like a lot of the academy teams are a little bit too passive, like they're trying to take the turret first. Um, but if you can find the end gauge angle and they're not ready for it with the turret up, go for it. The turret will go down real quick. And Baron's gone. Not a bad push for my deal. He took down all the inners. And okay, six and a half gold K, uh, six and a half K gold, pardon me. Tougher rise, but playable, playable, I believe. Uh, you say Lau tried to make him happy and it seems if he didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, that game, that I was so sad for Super Clever Man. Uh, your fuels when NFL can't be civil for 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is CP Low Academy. We chill here. We chill. <laughs> Man, sometimes, like, when I watch tier two teams get, like, really mad at each other, part of me is just like, chill. Y'all are tier two. <laughs> they need to go crazy. Then you hear some of the stories, and they're like, oh, okay, well. No, yeah, that, uh, that, that's a sub comment, not at Brazil. That's more NA, but. Yeah. Some of the NACL teams have some interesting beef behind the scenes. By the way, it's not NFL's can't fans can't be civil for ten minutes. It's Packers fans. I've been sitting here perfectly fine to <laughs> just look. We made a bet. It's over. And it's like it's like those memes. Nobody, nobody, absolutely no one. Not a soul in heaven on earth or ab above the earth or under the earth. Lunar day. Fuck Detroit. <laughs> okay, okay. We we got lunar chilling now. You know, for more, so we chill on our end too. All good. Ooh, chill, girl. Be? Wait, Zekas? Zekas! Zekas! Oh, crap, Takui. <laughs> what an end gauge. Zekas just ran wow. at them. There was no hard CC there. Oh, Io got hooked. Dude, Ryze are going to win this. They might, yeah, generally. 
What? <sighs> Ryze have been drafting, I feel like, better throughout the series. Like, th this is IDL's most internally cohesive draft. And I look at Ryze's comp, and I'm just like, yeah, we got counters out the wazoo. What can they do right now? Like, they, they are... They can get dragged, maybe? Yeah, they get that. Okay. IDL is struggling. They can't push without Baron. The wave clear from Rise is too good. This happens a bit for, for Rise or for IDL on occasion. True, yeah. yeah their, their mid games really stall. Yeah. Late game scaling too. Like Rise have better scaling with the Viego, Gwen, and Malzahar. IDL's only scaling is like Varus. Any CL to be. Yeah. Okay, Leonard, it's fine. Like, I, I deleted verbal. It's okay. Uh, Any is unwatchable. Moment hook lands. IDL's team fights over. Two has to do a miracle. Yeah, it does feel like this game for IDL is on Tukui's back. I, It shouldn't be, though. You look at the comp, and technically it should be the J4-Nar, uh, Braum, Var Varus combo. Okay. That's huge. Wow, they needed that. Yeah. Linkus is integral to Rise. Because uh, he's the Takui threat. Without him, it's so much easier for Takui to nav navigate these. What did they burn? They just burnt Cataclysm. All the other alts are still up. And I guess Meganar. Well, but yeah. Okay, I'm not sure I agree with the call from Rise to just go for Tart instead of going for Baron. Like, Blitzcrank on, is a huge threat at Baron Pit. Team's trying to do it. Like, have to watch out for people just getting snagged away and then 4v1. <laughs> yeah, if we say that Takui has to do a miracle for IDL, I feel like Zekas has to continue making miracles for Rise. Like it, it feels like it's coming down just like, sort of, not really a 1v1, I guess. I don't know the right term for it, but it's like... Yeah, it's like single person on either team, sort of thing. Uh, Rise need map control. True, good point. Their vision laps on the top side. Ideal has so many control wards up there. Ideal need to crack an inhib turret with this Baron. If they can't crack an inhibitor turret, or an inhibitor, flat out bot side inhibitor, I worry that... Rise might just have outskilled ideal at this point. Yeah, ideal, yes, you want top side in it for Drake's Lunar. I'm just thinking bot side because it's already low. And if you can't crack that low inhibitor, like, and take the actual inhibitor, then, oh. Okay, good. You key ate it. That's fine. Yeah. Like, I want to see an actual inhib go down, not just inhibitor turrets at this point. Oh, Zek is ulted already. I am. I. That Blitz Crank Hook <laughs> backfired. Normally, I'm not a fan of Nar because it's so hard to play around Mini Mega. But right there. <laughs> Bounty hook the Mega Nar. <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> Are they just ending? I think they're gonna, they're gonna try. And Blitzcrank's pretty low level. Oh, he gets the knock up before he dies. That's kind of giga huge from Yuki. Oh. Yeah. Well, there we go. RMC, you were right. 3 1. I think that's a hate being right. I'd rather have a 3 2. Okay. Yeah, but that last fight was exactly why I said Kakashi can't can't be the carry for the team. Like it, it's not that he doesn't have the damage, and not that he's not trying to trying. But just positionally, it's so hard for him to do anything. Yeah. Like as soon as his front line went yeah, down. Yeah. There's too many things that can pick him off, right? With with Takui as well. Yeah. Shrimp can EQ you. There's just not enough um. 
mobility or safety in, in the in the like Draven's great going forward, but going backwards just gets kind of dicey. Okay, um, Takui MVP probably this game. I'm fine with that. Part of me wants to give it to Shrimp. I feel like, okay, for my personal MVP, I guess I'd give it to Shrimp, but I think because he's just like, uh, actually no, would I give it to Shrimp or would I give it to Yuki? Because Yuki kind of cracked. Um, yeah. <laughs> True Lunar, you, you were right in that was four games. I you know, just got the team swapped around a little bit. Um, yeah, I liked what I saw from Shrimp and Yuki this game more than like what I liked from Takui. But Takui did do the most work, so I guess by the strictest definition of MVP, Takui. But personally, I would give it to Shrimp or Yuki. I thought both of them did great. Uh, Rise, I feel bad for them. Rise is a good team, though. Yeah. That's about where you know you kind of expect them to be. Is like, if, if, I feel like IDL are a bit of like a benchmark team or like a watermark team, or like you must be this tall to ride. Because they're not. Because yeah. they're, they're not. To me, like they're not. They're not. Um, they're obviously not world beaters. Like they're a very flawed team, but their hands yep. will make up for it. Yes. Um, and if you are not good enough to capitalize on the mistakes and the lanes that IDL does give you, then you can't challenge at the top. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're like the opposite of Fury Academy. Hmm. Like Fury yeah. Academy is like one of the cleanest teams. Uh, I'd, I'd argue that they're actually cleaner than Pain Gaming Academy, actually. <laughs> but their mechanics, you can still out mechanic them. Um, or like old, old Kate Stars, like Lost Split Kate Stars. Kate Stars now have insane set of hands, but yeah. Um, yeah. I. I do all win this, and what's the bracket look like right now? Me... They play Cade. Oh, they play Cade. Oh, that's gonna be a banger. So that's our top four: Pain, Furia, Cade, uh, Ideal. There we go. Wait, let me expand this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think Ideal gonna be. I, IDL Cade is going to be a fun one. I do think I favor Cade Stars a little bit right now. Uh, yesterday, they showed us they have hands, but their macro looks cleaner than IDL. And draft-wise, I am not a fan of what we're seeing from IDL right now. Like, their drafts are... I Like, it's not egregious, but it just doesn't feel amazing either. Uh, Dark Knight, you've only seen this game, so... Oh, shoot! No! I accidentally just timed up Lunar by accident. Damn. <laughs> Wait. Let the record show. It wasn't me. Oh, my. How do I untime her out? That I do not know. Wait. <laughs> How do I fix this? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I genuinely misclicked. Um, Holy crap. How do I message you and apologize for this? <laughs> On timeout Lunar. There we go. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Funny. I'm so sorry. Okay. I have un untimed out her and tried to fix things. Uh, but sorry, I should to scroll up and see because the chat was running and I didn't read chat for a while. Uh, you've only seen this game, Dark Knight, so took MVP. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, the MVP was this game anyway, so. Level 1 to 8, Shrimp ran. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was great in the first 1 to 8, sorry. I got it backwards. Um, Fury's Horrible versus Fuxu. Okay, kind of true. But yeah, something about Fury Academy. Lunar getting silenced, free speech is dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just, <laughs> justice for Lunar. <laughs> hey, Lunar's back. Okay. Okay, Lunar. Yeah, my bad. I misclicked. I, I was trying to scroll the chat and like as the moderator, I've got all the um icons next to your name. So I accidentally clicked the the timeout one when I was trying to click chat to scroll. Yeah, they, they MVP took as expected. Understandable. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, sorry, Luna, you, you did nothing wrong. That that was just me, 100% screwing up. Uh, we were talking about... What were we talking about? Oh, yes. Bracket. Um, yeah, I think Kate Stars versus IDL is going to be fun, though. I, I expect to see lots of hands being thrown. But I... Dang, damn it. Uh, I don't think either of them will be able to handle... Okay, so my predictions right now is that uh, Pain will advance. Bureau will lose. Uh, and then your ideal 40 qualified. I think Kate Stars goes on, and I think Furia will win and do the rematch. Like, I think there's a very clear 1-2, and then 3-4 is a bit closer. So I might be wrong on this one, but... Yeah. That's my predictions right now. And next week, we will be starting... Uh, next week, what are we doing? Oh, next week's a super week. Yeah, you mentioned. It was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yep, so we're starting in the upper bracket and then go down. I don't know. I feel like they should just do this match first and then yeah, and then the upper bracket and down so that there's at least one day break. But hey, if you wanted a break, you should have won. <laughs> just win, Pivot. Okay. Um, Luna, you sent an idea for the America's bracket in the podcast. Okay, we'll take a look at that for tomorrow. Uh, are the next games going to be in studio, Darknet? I don't know. I hope they are because I really do think it's different when you're in studio versus... You know, when you're just kind of like online, first of all, less pauses. Uh, I won't say no pauses because we had the blackout on the weekend, which caused <laughs> the pause, which kind of sucked. Um, but yeah, it's better. And also just having a crowd in studio. I remember like watching or hearing, was it um, Yups? I think was it? Was it Yups last bit? Yeah. Saying that his family couldn't show, unfortunately, because like traffic or something. But like the other players had family there and stuff like that. And I think it, it just hits different when you've got your fans and you've got your... Yeah, so well, let's see it. That pause was hilarious. <laughs> How is it funny? It was just like people, we were panicking for a second because the whole stream went down. <laughs> yeah, true. Did give us a good break though for the five game series. Um, yeah, and we'll, I guess we'll talk more about that uh, on the podcast. But for now, that's it for this week of CB Law Academy. Throw back to that series I tried to do and gave up on trying to video edit. <laughs> 44. <laughs> Anything before we check out for the day? Not from me. Toodles, everybody. Yeah, I love peace every out, single one of you in chat. Yeah, thanks for dropping by. It was really fun to have all of y'all chatting. The all more right. people, the merrier. So yes, peace, friends. Bye. Bye.